Good evening, party people. Hi. Welcome back to the bar with an X. But most importantly, welcome to mine and Anna's anniversary. It's the 13th of June, which is now a very public number, as I've said it so plainly here. 13 is a very special number in our world, and I saw that Domstar popped in here a little earlier and popped 13. in another sub, and it's his 13th month. There is absolutely no coincidence there. Is the I 13th think it's perfect, of the month? You know. 13 month subscription? This is beautiful. It's a beautiful non coincidence. There is no coincidence that that happened. I think that's awesome. So alas, I think we're I'm a, I'm a prince for the stream. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a business I'm a business prince and you're a you're just business queen. Dressed up in matching outfits. The camera was like, we need a matching outfit. Match today. It was like, okay, so we have this. And we have a matching costumes. We're cosplayers, you know. We, we do like to, have the hippos yeah. and Oh, we could have done hippos. I don't know, this feels a lot more refined. I, mean, I like the way I feel in a suit. Mm. Feels mm. very, very good. Too bad mine has a skirt and yours doesn't. Oh, well, wow. you know, alas, alas. Oh, are you pushing? I pushed the thing off the side. I realized I need to do that before I actually click the button here. Oh. Today we are celebrating, what is it, our sickeningly sweet anniversary. As it pertains to cocktails, I am of the bitter kind. I'm a very bitter individual. I'm a very malicious person on the inside. Uh, no, I you're love, not. Yeah, as well, much as you say that, you just... As, as it comes to my spirits and whiskeys mm -hmm, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. As it pertains to cocktails and whatnot, Anna loves sweet drinks. It, it is said that once upon a time, I began to mix drinks specifically to try to find alcoholic libations or otherwise that merengue? Anna would actually want. Meringue is like, I, I think it's supposed to be orange. Oh. So what I've tasked Anna with today, whoa, is breaking bottles on the bar. Just yes. kidding, that's a, that's a lie. RS Calvin here saying, happy ninth anniversary. Thanks, Hi. mom. Thanks, mom. We appreciate you greatly. But so I tasked Anna with trying to come up with a section of ingredients, things that you can buy at the store that are, to her, describing the quality sickeningly sweet. Well, no, I literally just went to the store and was like, what has sugar in it? I'm going to buy that. <laughs> and that's what I did. Soda has sugar in it. Yeah, cotton candy has sugar so in it. Lemonade has sugar in it. Rock candy, which is literally crystallized sugar crystals, also have... Uh, was it candy in it? What was the word? Sugar? Sugar. There's also some ice cream. Ice cream in the freezer as well. Rock candy. Sugar. Artificial flavor. Yep. Artificial color. Something glycerin Titanium in there? Titanium dioxide. Probably. Whoa, that's totally radical. I wonder if that gives the blue color. Oh, Titanium dioxide in the rock I candy? Flash one. That's totally rock candy and also a preservative. Alexa, volume seven. That's okay. I only bought a couple, like... Me. I was going to ask about the titanium dioxide. I don't... But it's fun stuff. Know. The no. world will never know. The world may never know in any okay. case. So the way that we're going to conduct this cocktail stream is a little bit different than usual. Usually, we would pick, like, a you recipe... put this on the other and side. And we make the recipe. I'm going to confiscate that from you. I'm going to put it with the flowers or Pikachu. Pikachu's going to get a big or old... Or with the strawberries. There we go. The strawberries are hidden behind here. You want a strawberry? No. Are you sure? I just say cotton candy. That's fair. That's you fair. You can't mix those two cotton flavors. Cotton candy is good stuff. Oh, yeah. R. Scalve agrees. Have a cotton candy. R. Scalve, so they say. Let's see. We have cotton candy and lemonade. Would that taste good? So the way... Maybe? So the way that things are going to work this time is instead of picking by cocktail, we're going to kind of run this by ingredients. I want to drink these. Anna is going to be the one who picks the first ingredients, which is these, as she so aptly pointed out already. Because I want to try Not them. the cotton candy. I bought red... Ooh, that would have been a good idea. To try them first? Well, I guess we're trying... I mean, we're going to try them anyways. Oh, I want to try the sodas, because so I the don't know So the first ingredient that we're going to try to play around with is this country club refrescos, raspberry, and meringue soda. Can now, I drink them now? now, this... I have to change the section first. Oh, what's this? You section? don't have to. You can just crack these things open if you want to. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah? Okie dokie. This time is, what is it? Country Club's Refrescos. Country Club Soda. This smells like bubblegum. Country Club. I just realized oh. I am tasting cotton candy. Do you taste cotton candy? Yeah, because I just ate cotton candy. It's are are you sure? Candy. So your mind is focused on the cotton candy. What about this other one? It smells like bubblegum. So let's see. We have raspberry soda and self-proclaimed meringue soda. It's funny. It tastes like bubblegum. It's it. funny because the country club, La Bebida de Distinción from Framboesa, it's from Framboesa is raspberry. It specifies as raspberry soda. However, meringue is specified as just meringue soda. So I don't know what that's supposed to taste like. I know what the internet tells me it tastes like because oh. I did prior research, but I don't oh. know what you think it tastes like. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it bubbled. Okay. Mm. Doesn't it taste like bubblegum? I think it tastes like bubblegum. It's almost like it's almost like like cherry. It's kind of cherry, but I know it's raspberry. It's just very light. It kind of does taste like raspberry cotton candy. 
What about this one? It's the orange one. This is a meringue it soda. It is a candy that I have eaten recently. It is a candy. Wait one second, I have a thing. I, I think I know what this is just by smelling it. Really? It tastes like a candy. What do I, what it is it? smells like orange cream soda. Oh my gosh, it's the ice pop! We have these ice pops downstairs that no, come in a variety. Oh, we're out of them? Yeah, I ate them all. Well, we used to have these ice cream pops orange. downstairs that were orange cream soda flavored, and lo and behold, this tastes like or it's orange cream soda. So, what do you have? That's one is kind of bubble gummy, soda. and one's orange cream soda. -y. So, bubble gum and orange cream soda. What can we make with those? Well, so what I've been able to find so far. Or do you have them prepped? I have some things prepped. So, according to lot of the interwebs, these taste more like specifically this one tastes kind of like big red soda. Big red soda. This tastes like a cream. Yeah, but according to some people, you know, taste is subjective and stuff. I can't just flat out say that the internet is wrong. There's millions and millions of people out there. I can say the internet is wrong, in my opinion. Y'all yes. are wrong. Totally off the mark. This, this is not, not at all big red this soda. Is, this is like Have you our tried viewers. Big red snow soda. What is big red soda? Big red soda is big red soda. Kind of tastes like big red soda. It's very cotton candy. Just very, very sweet, sweet. Kind of like these ones are. I, I would say it kind of tastes like big red soda. Just a little bit. I don't know what big red soda is. Do you remember? I feel like we were at a steakhouse one time. It was like a barbecue yeah. house, and there was just we a big red soda, and it was no. called Big Red. No idea what you're talking no? about. That's okay. When did we go to a barbecue okay. house? I, I don't know. Last I think it was, I went, it, was it was a place. You. It was a place called. I don't remember what the place is called, but it was a very prevalent location in my life for a good two year span because the people at work talked about it back when I worked for an aerospace company. I'm not there anymore. And then the year after, we went to it once. There's a picture of us on one of our anniversaries with you with dripping like meat coming out of your mouth. I had ribs. Yeah, at this place that I'm referring but to. But I have no idea where you're talking about. You probably didn't have the big red soda. No, I probably did not. It's okay. In any case, there are a number of cocktails that I have in here okay. that supposedly use big red soda. Big, big red boom. margarita, which uses big red soda in a very, very large amount. I'm aware- I don't like margaritas. You have flavor preferences. Yes. And this is all about you this evening. I hate tequila. If this, is, if this whole thing that we see before us is mine, uh -huh. This is about you. Oh, it's about me finally wonderful. being your ever your wonderful fiance and bartender after so many years cool. of trying to hone so my craft. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix so this. it doesn't taste like. We're margarita. gonna fix What's a in it? big red margarita, which would so, usually so, include tequila and agave based spirit, which you don't like at all. What? Yeah, no, I don't. Like so that. what the big red margarita calls for? What if we put sake in it? Would that work? We could very well use sake. It I mean, to like be fair, decision. we can change this up however you want to. The original recipe, according to ChampagneAndCoconuts.com, thank you, Champagne and Coconuts, one of the other, maybe both at the same time, for this recipe that involves combining tequila, watermelon liqueur, blue curacao, big red soda, cherry grenadine, margarita salt, and a lime wedge. Okay. So essentially, the combos are blue Weber agave, watermelon, orange, despite the fact that it's blue, big red soda, cotton candy-ish, cherry grenadine, which is like, which is not my grenadine. Where does it say orange? Grenadine. Blue curacao is actually an orange flavored liqueur. Do you see the little orange? There's a little symbol on there. It's the orange. Why is it called blue curacao? Because it's why is curacao. it blue? It's called curacao orange. How is the curacao it blue? orange is blue? How it's is artificial that? coloring. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. These are very artificial. I thought maybe that the bottle would say exactly why it's blue curacao. Curacao is an island. They can show. They can grow oranges there. They're not blue though. Once upon a time, somebody tried to convince me it was blue. They're wrong. They're wrong. So let's fix this. Anna's gonna have a margarita without the tequila. Yes, no I think, tequila. I think a way to kind of bridge the difference, and please, correct me if I'm wrong, just say flat out no. You have every right to completely deny anything that I'm suggesting. I'm gonna say yes, I have no idea what it is. Pomegranate liqueur in place of the grenadine. It is tequila yes, based. Okay. It's not gonna be super duper let's much. Let's try it. We're gonna try it. Yeah. My mother says she loves the Pac-Man suits. That's why I bought them. Aren't we delightful? Aren't we just too... Peas in a Pac-Man suit? Peas no. in a pod? Peas in a Pac-Man suit? Anyway, we're gonna continue like this for the rest of the evening. Just kidding, I've been fixed. By trying to create this big red margarita, apparently, essentially you're just gonna put this in a glass and it looks like you're gonna fill up an entire pitcher with this. So, so uh, I'm gonna adjust this. This one. I'm gonna adjust this down by, uh, I guess not serving size one. is gonna become uh, one. Because so, I certainly don't need four entire quasi almost margaritas. What happened to all my wine soda. glasses? All your wine glasses? Yeah, for my wine flight. The wine flight? Well, two of them are cleaning, so we have two. Are we gonna serve them these tiny little ones? I purposely wanted this. Okay, one. this is gonna. Oh, you know what? We'll make it work. We're gonna make it work. My poor wine glasses. So first, 
Uncork some sodas. There we go. Bye bye. What if we needed that? We don't need the bottle cap. Do you want to flick the other one? No. Okay, I'm gonna flick the other one too. No, don't do that. Put it down. 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 Ah! That was it spot on. That was awesome. That thing looks like a paddle. No, it's not. That's a different kind of lovely you anniversary. Not beat people. We, no. I, whoa, okay. it's definitely not about so, beating people. What do I do? So what we're gonna do is we're going to. It says to stir in a pitcher. So instead, what we're going to do is we're gonna stir in a mixing glass instead. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna add everything all together. So instead of a single ounce of tequila in this case, we're gonna use a different spirit. Be a spirit of your choice. Oh, single ounce of tequila to what I want. Oh. So instead of the tequila, we could use, I know vodka is a personal favorite of yours, but there are so many different spirits. I'm gonna say every single bottle is at your disposal. Yeah, but I don't know what I like. I know you like vodka, which is basically nothing. We could also There's sub it out with Everclear and just make it like whole lot- Oh, no, 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 we are not touching that. No Everclear. No Everclear. No Everclear for me. I made me. that mistake once. Everclear this relationship is. Or, or rather, like, ever kind of land. cloudy, you know? Okay. Ever kind of cloudy? So, it's, it's a little confusing. I don't know. Do I well, just see something randomly? Well, these are all the fruit liqueurs, as I will outline, because uh, I can't get the camera this far back here, but there are fruit liqueurs. There's kind of, like, nutty citrus liqueurs. There's So, wait, wait, wait. Mm, what goes okay. into this? This goes into pomegranate We have tequila, things. watermelon liqueur. I will say, we don't have... Actually, I don't think we have watermelon liqueur down here. <gasps> well, we're going to use this that. apple one, then. We're going to use that instead of the watermelon. Yeah, why not? Ooh. I like Monsters use a Dobel tequila. I don't like tequila. Double tequila. Tequila, oh, tequila, floor. No, no, no. One no. tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. See, I don't like the banana one because it's very alcoholic. That's also going to be very, very flavorful. I think if we want to keep things like safe, we could use just a little bit of vodka. A little bit of vodka. Yeah, but that's too safe. Why it's would I want to make it safe? What's that? Uh, what's Some that would say one? that certain relationships are characterized by a safety, a, ni a net, if you will. I would consider my relationship to be very safe after nine years. I, I have no way safe. out of it. Therefore, I feel very good in Cameron this little confined not. space. Okay. What is this one? What is that one? That one is Citronge liqueur. It is a tequila-based orange liqueur that is very orange zesty. Does it taste like tequila? I don't think so, in my opinion. You can give it a smell, and if it smells like tequila, it's probably like tequila. What does it smell like to you? It smells like alcohol. Alcohol, all right, <laughs> that that's, doesn't good. Help that's good, me. got any more? I don't know. What if you were to waft it instead of stick your nose right oh. into it? You could try it. it smells like my hand. <laughs> Smells like orange zest, but like a sweet sort of orange zest, and in my humble opinion. So if I were to use these, okay, what would happen? Well, instead of being kind of margarita-y and watermelon-y, I feel like what we're gonna run into is instead we're gonna get it a little more it's fruity in a different way. I think for the most part, the big red soda that we're putting into here, which is like two and a half ounces of it, is just kind of gonna take over the flavor of everything in general, because it's very sugary. So why don't we try a little bit of one with that one and a little bit of one with that one? You want to do a little bit of two? Do you want to do two? We maybe. can make two of them. Maybe. How much? Or maybe we put both in them. No, that would involve okay, people okay. having okay. to actually go okay. out of their way to okay. find these things. Okay, okay, okay. Because this one's okay. like an equivalent to like uh, an orange creamsicle, and this one's like the equivalent to bubble gum. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take double the recipe. I'm gonna uh -huh. put it into the mixing glass without these, oh. and then after we pour them out, we're gonna pour a little bit one into one, and a little bit of one into the okay. other. I think okay. that'll do it. That sounds do well. good. Yes. This is going to be a very interesting modification on a big red margarita. There is no more margarita. There technically isn't any big red. This so is just. After we finish it, we're probably gonna have to rename it. This is called the Refrescos Country Club. Oh, is that what? That's the name? name of the soda. I'm just gonna, gonna steal say. the name of the soda. Yeah, we're but that, that one's like that's how about the just, brand of the soda. How about just the Country Club? Country I Club pot. I cannot concern you. Okie dokie. So first we what we're going to do this. is we're going to add an ounce of our tequila stand-in, which is going to be this uh, kind of citron liqueur here. Which one do I use? You can take any jigger you want to. We're going to take this one because I think it's cool looking. That one's tall. It's tall. One ounce on one side, about 30 milliliters. Got to carefully pour it out. This is a very not so poor ah! heavy container. It's chill. Why are you screaming? Because it got right to the rim. Did we need any ice in this? Glasses with ice. I'm gonna grab some ice. Would you like to add the next ingredients? Whoa, what do I grab? So in place of our half an ounce of watermelon liqueur, we were gonna use this Johnny Bootlegger Sour Apple. Well, this one says that, so. Hey, Cameron. Yeah, what's up? I need like something to open this with. A moment, please, while I icicle this. smart enough. Nice job. Very good. 
Very good indeed. Why are you being so weird? Huh? One cool, one half an ounce, or just about 15 milliliters. It's going to turn things a little green. There's going to be a different color than usual. I'm actually, the, the image that we have here... It's very red. It's very, very red. It's very, very dark red. red. It kind of looks like sangria. Okay, so we move this one out of the way. All right, we're going to put this Tetronga over here. This is our tequila stand in, oddly enough. I'm going to take that away. This we're going to add half an ounce stand. of blue curacao, which is going to be our little blue curacao here. That one. Indeed. This is going to turn things... What do you think? Blue. I think it's going to turn blue, to be honest. Well, blue plus green equals a little bit more green, but it's going to be a blue plus green, green makes... Ah! hey -ya! Nice. Very excellent pour. Very excellent pour by a very excellent oh. individual. I need to move these out of the way. Indeed, indeed. Oh, maybe I should just like... pouring these on here, right? Maybe I should just like... I gotta get into the habit of putting all the bottles I use off the side. Although the bar like fills up with glasses and stuff, so it doesn't really work So you remove them after you Afterwards, yes, naturally, yes, naturally. Very natural. Okay, do I do anything else? Or well, do I just you, turn it? Keep going for a little bit. Whee! So in place of our two and a half ounces of big red soda, we're gonna wait for a little bit. We're gonna add that after the fact. So okay. these two sodas are gonna, gonna go on... I don't know, they're gonna hang in the wings for a little bit. The wings being over wings. here, apparently. So then we're gonna move on to our half an ounce of cherry grenadine. Our cherry grenadine stand in. Now let me ask you this, do you want, do we wanna try using the grenadine we have, but also include the pomegranate liqueur separately, or just split it? A little bit of grenadine, a little bit of pomegranate. I to think kill we were messing with it enough. We should just use grenadine. Just use grenadine? Yeah, why not? All right, no more pomegranate liqueur. Yeah. No more of that. So basically what we've done is we've completely changed this big red pomegranate. This is to the point, right? If you, if you, to turn for a moment and observe. Sickeningly sweet turn. anniversary. So when do I stop turning? And so the stream continues. We're gonna add I'm half an ounce dizzy. of grenadine. This oh is very, gosh. this does not wanna open. I have to so, do one of these. Just a warning, I do get like motion sick from turning. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round. This, this is a hard little bit. <laughs> The room is spinning. You need a half an ounce or about 15 milliliters of our grenadine in this case. <laughs> My mouth was on that thing. Yeah. Ew. I know, you're gross. How dare Ew. You? Oh, look, it is now darkened. It is still kind of bluey, though. Bluey? Bluey. Well, actually, no, now it kind of looks like a dark green. The color has changed over time. Ooh. We're also going to add some soda into it, also changing the color a little bit. Oh. Do we want to bring the cocktail angle so the beautiful people at home can also observe the color magic that's occurring over and here? And that's F5? Control numpad 5. That's going to be the one. Oh my goodness. Hi there. Come on over here. Come over here. Okay. There well, we go. You're like too high. Nice. Come over here, buddy. Ooh, there we go. This is, the color of this, this is the color of this thing. There you go. You Hello, buddy. Hi there, pal. How are you? Very good. And you? Thank you. So that's the color of this thing right now. It was like kind of blue-ish. It was blue -ish. green. Then we made it blue. Then, then we, we made, made it a little more blue. A little I would less say this blue, is I guess. like a green blue, we added a little but bit it's of red very dark. It. Yeah. Very dark green blue. Now, actually there's no more ingredients we need to add to the mixing glass. Oh, so what do I do now? So now all we need to do is we need to strain it out into our containers and then top the rest off with one of two different types of sodas. So, we take two so that's what we'll do. So, oh, I guess we have one wine glass. Oh, it, apparently the uh, the cocktail angle just died. <gasps> this is the second time this has happened, but I know how to fix it this time. That's okay. I know how to fix it. Or at least in one way. Oh, the app is actually crashing. Oh, no. Oh, I've never seen that before. Whoa, look at that. It's crazy. actually crashing. Oh, never mind. Wait, Searching wait, please. maybe, maybe. Oh, oh we forget. It's upside down. Well, hold on a second, everybody. Whoa. Whoa. We fixed it. Okay. What happened there? We've made it to this point. Wow, I pay money for this app. I can't believe it's not working. Wow. You pay money for this? Yeah, it's so useful. What? Wow. Okie dokie. Well, excuse that little fiasco for a moment. Okay, so we put this one here. Okay, I'm gonna move back a little bit. Oh. There we go. There's one. There's the other. There we go. So now what we'll do, we've stirred it. We've stirred it. We've stirred it. Very, very good. Hmm. Mmm. That's interesting. I can't taste it yet. That's very interesting. Well, everything We're gonna use sweet. a little julep strainer, just so we don't get that big ice cube in there. And we'll pour one into one and one into the other. 
A little bit of that. I just realized, did we make double the recipe or did we make nope. the regular recipe? No, nope, we made the regular recipe. So like, what we put in? We split it equally. As equally as I can. That is a very color. Oh my gosh. It's very, very dark oh, blue. Bigger. It is beautiful. Time to ruin beautiful that. Beautiful like us. Beautiful individuals. All right. Oh, it's the Whoville one. Oh, it's funny. Yeah, one of those wine glasses has a really weird, like, kind of swivel action going on there. Oh, wait, you can probably see it if I can. Yeah. Which is very, very interesting. I'll just, like... Give it a little swivel. Actually, if you turn it around a little bit, it kind of does the little swivel dance on its own. Into a hand there, I guess. It reminds me of Pseudo Wudo in the original Pokemon games. You know what I mean? Okay. So how much do we put in? So now we're just going to kind of fill it. So half. this is supposed to... Or do we top it with that? So this is half of it. We're going to top it off just a little bit with each of them. What is it say to do in here? Big red soda. It's a two and a half ounces of the regular recipe. So if we were to do that and split it in two parts, each one would be about an ounce and a quarter, which is like 37 milliliters. Ounce. Is that glass crooked? Mother, have you not been listening? Yes, I'm excited to see what color that makes. That's one with the ounce. red, okay. With the and red, a quarter. Get a little bit of a and a quarter. So about here. And then as you do that, I'm gonna kind of. Why are you this not? You were just supposed to do this. This is thing. totally kind of Mario and Luigi right now. What do you mean? Kind of Mario and Luigi. Okay, okay. We're doing the cooking by the book. I love to see it. Happen. I know it's a miracle. I usually don't do this. Let's see if we can get some lighting on these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's too How much am I lighting. To get in your way. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> nice, nice, oh, nice. It stays green. Oh. Ooh, Just it's because it of the darker. orange color. And then a quarter. It's kind of like Mario and Luigi. Huh? It's giving me Super Mario Brothers vibe. That might be a little bit more than a quarter. That's okay. How do they look from the back? If I try to like backlight these things. Hello. This is red. It does very look. This is green. Ooh, yellow. Ooh. ooh, that's cool looking. Oh my god. Do you have a light on your phone? Oh, yes. We can we can light them both at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. For an excellent I Hi. see. Oh hello. Trying not what? to blind the audience over here. Don't blind Trying me. not to blind the audience. Stop blinding. They glow. Do I just do this? This is definitely Super Mario vibes. Oh 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 oh, oh. A little a little Yeah. I love that. Looks very good. In any case, wait. What if you do it? That's kind of beautiful. I mean, like it's like it's a thing that happens. Does it just look normal. It's a little. It's got a nice little upline. It just looks it. normal. In any case, shall we switch back and give these give these a taste? All right. Uh, num pay oh. control num pay back. You got it. Nice. Whoop. Get over there. Okay. All right. Okay. Nice. Okie doke. So this. Let's see. Luigi. Luigi is has cool. meringue soda in it. And Mario has framboise, raspberry soda. Smells good. It's very like it smells like a combination of the like citru like the orange of the citron. It's very curacao. It smells like curacao. So it's got kind of like a sweet orange smell. To this it. has a lot going on, and I cannot tell you anything besides sugar. In this one, I can really taste. That like that orange citronga liqueur is super prevalent. Oh, this one's good. Yeah. Okay. That one's a lot better. That one tastes like a bubblegummy, mm -hmm. like orange, mm -hmm. orange bubblegum. And the red one. I can't distinguish what's going on there. I don't know. Oh yeah, the red one's weird. Red one's too much. It's a little like it's a little pointy. If I had to describe a flavor as pointy, it's a very pointy flavor, as opposed to this one, which is a lot more smooth. It's that kind of orange cream action going on that I like. So this is a hot mess. And this one is a little less hot of a mess, kind of a cool mess, so to speak. This one is orange bubblegum. Orange bubblegum. That's what I'm going with. Dom is saying that we love seeing Anna. Me too, dude. And that these suits are going pretty hard. Okay. This is kind of, you know, this is kind of like a... Um... So I've named them. Oh, you've named them? Yeah. Okay. This is hot mess. This is hot mess. Sugary, wait, sugary hot mess. Sugary hot mess. Yeah. I'm going to be writing these down as we go along. We're essentially okay. creating new cocktails. Sugary hot mess. It sugary, tastes like sugar. Sugary Pointed hot sugar. Yeah. mess. You know, you've described yourself as a hot mess on multiple occasions. Um, Is this no. supposed to represent you? I haven't described myself as a hot mess. Let's see here. if this tastes like Anna. What the hell does that mean? You know, I was describing it as a little pointed. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like you. Just, just ever so slightly. And that what's the other one? Sense. A, a sugary cold mess? 
No. But perhaps a not so sugary, a less sugary. This is literally orange bubblegum to me. Orange bubblegum. We could do it uh, orange green. Would you consider this the orange green hot mess? No, perhaps I, a green this trash. This is not bottle. a hot mess. Okay, so it's actually good. Oh wait, that should actually be a cold mess. So like sugary, sugary cold, cold mess. mess. Oh, yeah. so the red one is a sugary cold mess. Yeah, I think that would make sense. Instead of hot, it's now cold. Yeah, I'm yeah. Correcting myself. Yeah, I think it also, should be cold. That's drink number one. Sugary cold mess, as opposed to a sugary hot mess. And the other one, Monsieur Green Verde, Monsieur Verde. I think is green in French. Maybe like, I don't know. I really love the way that the orange tastes in this. So much better. It's really good. Well, I think because this is an orange cream soda, essentially. So it works with the orange. And it works really well with the orange from the Curacao ah! Ah! and the orange from the Citron. And then like, I don't know, the, 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 the sour So I think you should write it as orange something because like it has this great oh, but orange it, taste. But it's green. I know, which is the funny part. What if we call it like it is, right? Green, like slime. We could just call this a Ghostbusters cocktail and just say it's the Slimer, right? Just Why would green. it taste like bubblegum? I mean, does it taste like an ectoplasmic collection of like chaotic ooze? Just a little bit. What if we call it ectoplasm? We can call it ectoplasm. The I'll ectoplasm of love. We'll call it ectoplasm. Because it's an anniversary. Yeah, we're going with ectoplasm. That's ectoplasm? Good. Yeah, yeah. Of love. Why of love? Is it the ectoplasm of love? How about, inspired by your work as a physical therapist, almost, and the body and biology, we call it the ectoplasmic reticulum, as opposed no. to the endoplasmic reticulum. No, because when you of think cells, of green, when I think of What does green, the endoplasmic reticulum do? The no. ER of the cell, by the way. Isn't it a logistic system? Oh, no. The, Does this not deliver the flavor of orange straight to your mouth? I am not doing that. Endoplasmic. No. Because when I think of green in the human body, I think of lymphatics. Would you consider this a chemical medium by which sugary yum yums can go straight to your brain and lymph nodes? Fine, you can call it the How ectoplasm, about the ecto whatever. Ectoplasmic lymph. No, 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 no. How about lymphatic ectoplasm? That sounds disgusting and okay, like a cancer. Okay, okay, but like what a, What about additional chemistry terms, How about right? That's a good idea. Just call it ectoplasm ER. Ectoplasm ER? Yeah. So ectoplasm, ectoplasm reticulum? You know what, we're going with it. The ectoplasm ER, does it have something to do with a cell, uh, a piece of cell biology, or does it have something to do with the- I don't know how much chemistry camera- What about we call this the ectoplasmic diabetes shot? Actually, I'm pretty sure all his chemistry knowledge right now is from the biology. The biology? No, like, what is it, cellulose? My game called cellulose? Because you literally have to build the best cell. What if we name this in reference to your board game that you love so much? Oh, so cellulose? Cellulose? It does, it is kind of green. Ectoplasm, ER. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on a second. Okay. Chlorophyll turns sunlight into sugar. What if we call this chlorophyll? Yes! Yes? Yes! yes. Okay, yeah. cool, we're calling it's it chlorophyll. chlorophyll. No. Yep. Mm -hmm. Using our knowledge of cell biology. So we have sugary cold mess and, and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. This well, sounds like, like now I feel like because they use similar recipes, that we oh, should, should we like fix the other one? Okay. Sugary hot mess to be a different thing. Well, it's very complex and there's too much going on. I think we should call it something like the mRNA because like it's a transfer system and it has a lot of information. What? Dude, that like delicious piece of delectable information just popped out of nowhere. I remember what some of the RNA. We have a board game Should on we this. Call shit. it RNA. mRNA. mRNA. Messenger and RNA. Dude. Yeah, yeah. We're... That hits deep. Okay, now that we have deep in my genomes, all the way to my uracil. Can't read that. Doesn't even make sense. Uracil is actually a concept in the genome of RNA, as opposed to like, like you know, like uh, guanine and cytosine. It's uracil and RNA, I as opposed to I think adenine, right? M you never got me water. And hey, I think I forgot my own water. Time to go find water. Chlorophyll. <laughs> Does chlorophyll have two L's in it? I don't know. I don't know why I'm, I'm asking, asking you. Spell. That's okay. That's just okay. keep it with two L's. It makes it look fancy, we'll just in it. case. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Look, water. I just realized. I'm like, glad that we came to this. I'm glad that we somehow, like, through our wonderful trains of thought, mostly <laughs> we got to biology. We got to, oh, we're swapping again. All right, all right. We got to biology with those. Biology. Do you think you could pair rock candy with those drinks, or would that be Ooh. too much? Ooh, I only have the blue one. We have a vast array of rock candy. I don't know how. What if we let it sit in one of them, 
and see what happens. We only have the blue rock candy. Yeah, I only bought blue raspberry because I love blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is delicious. Though and it there's... doesn't really taste like blue raspberry. I feel like you would get too complicated with that one. I want to try it with the other one. I'm going to grab a couple of coasters. Like for, coasters. for our water. Oh, should I? As have... well as for our drinks. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, did you want me to go grab my coasters from now? No, you're good. I have so many coasters. Up I have coasters. Which is great. But mine are Pop. Disney coasters. We got these orange sodas. Now I want to see, like, compared to this... That is so good on its own. I know. Ah! Yeah. I dig that. It's very orangey. Now, I feel like it would be a waste to put it in the hot, into the mRNA. Um, don't you mean the, uh, the, the cold mess? The sugary cold mess? I wonder, actually, do you want to bring the cocktail angle over and see whether or not we can make it turn colors just by putting that in the inside and stirring for a while? Okay. Here, you can try it. Okie doke, okie doke. Okay, so let's try to put over. this in the realm of the light. Let me just. I need to like better have some better light at this bar so that we can actually see that. All right, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, 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 Hades Town, way down under the ground. All right, so this is the green wait, color. Wait, wait, let have me now. try that one. Okay, okay, okay. Hi there, it's my hand coming at you live. It just tastes very good. Very good. And now we're gonna see what happens as I just kind of like take this rock candy and just like stir it around a bit. I think I like the alcoholic drink more than the soda. No kidding. Yeah. This is a win. I think that tastes better because it's better balanced. Would you this consider this to be sickeningly sweet? I think it's more sweeter. I, I think it's more like fruity based. So like an orange. I'm going for it. Because when it comes down to it, I like the red one better, but the hot mess has too much. But so Don't since, you mean mRNA? The mRNA has too much going It's got too big of a job on its shoulders, you know? In charge of like, you know, the entire reproductive process of most small form bacterium and viruses. It's the messenger to- Oh, you're right, messenger yeah. RNA. Completely different than the regular RNA that makes up the genomes of most small single-celled organisms. Well, no, there's multiple different types of RNA. I'm not a biologist! I don't remember what they do. I I'm just an engineer! That. Not a biochemical engineer or biological engineer. Does it electricity. change colors? If we have questions about, like, electricity and zippy zaps, you have a guy? Yeah. Okay, okay. This is a very good point. If Anna says it's good, that means it's really good, because she hates this stuff. Well, no, think about this. Would she you despises my entire very hobby. Sweet th I do not despise it. I'm sorry, that was a gross I despise Minecraft. Now. Maybe we call this the grass block. Why would we call it that? Because Minecraft and you hate it. <laughs> no, I like that one. Oh, okay. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Can you, like, hate the concept but love the, the implementation? See, I don't know how... Okay. I think all I'm doing is aerating this. What do you mean aerating? Does it taste different? How does that uh, taste? I don't like that. What you... I don't like that at all. After it. It does have a very nice blue color as it's there, you know? So this is taking a while. So what are we doing? What is this supposed to represent? If the drink is called chlorophyll, what is this? What is this? What is blue and in the body? I wonder. I don't know, but that tastes good to me. What does it represent, though? What do we do to chlorophyll when we make it better, right? What if, like, this tastes is a like sunny day? Toxic toxifying? Toxific toxification? We're adding toxins to the body. We're adding toxins to the body. Yeah. The laundry just finished. Yeah. Toxification. I wonder how this tastes with it. This is, uh, what is apoptosis? Oh, now it's too complex. Too complex? Too much. Shall we? Shall we switch back for a moment so we can get a? Oh, oh yeah. Um, toxic waste, perhaps. I, I think this. I think adding that and stirring it makes it a little too much. Oh, that. That's. Mm, it changes the taste. Right? It's like. It's too. It's much. a different kind of taste now. There is now this undeniable like different type of sweetness to it that I can only identify as like blue raspberry. Because it's, it's a blue fine raspberry when it's blue. Well, it's fine when it's just a blue raspberry. It actually, it did make the color it more lightened. green. So we're going to try this now. So I think in addition to rock candy. So I don't like the rock candy with that one. So I think if we were to add the rock candy, it completely changes the drink taste. How about we call it programmed cell death? Oh, there's a fancy word for that. Apoptosis. Apoptosis. <laughs> yeah, we live together. Apoptosis. So if you add blue, what is this? 
Blue raspberry rock candy. Yes, blue raspberry rock candy. Stir it until some of it dissolves and then just lay it on top. That would taste, you know, like, um, yeah. Cocktail Were you supposed to get pictures of these? I guess it's a little late. I can get pictures. I mean, the, the colors really haven't changed too much. Look at these beautiful guys. We have... That's a good idea. I completely forgot about that. I was having so much fun. I also have the uh, the screenshots from the, uh, the actual oh, stream itself. Point, yeah, I think it actually looked better in the close-up than it is than Yeah, it here. I think so. It definitely gave it a lot better. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. we got to give this a little bit of extra time. Because I'm wondering, if it made that too complex, I'm wondering let's, how it's going to take the one that's let's way too much complex. It. Let's plan for it. Plan so for now that we're taking, what was it? mRNA? And mRNA. making it better? Making it different? Well, yes. What's What kind of names do we have in mind? Well, I don't know. Because this one's now, I think this is Apoc. We're creating cocktails. You think the red one's apoptosis? No, I think this one's apoptosis. Oh, for sure. Yeah. This is definitely apoptosis. Because it killed the Here really comes taste. cell suicide. Are you going to drink it all? Oh, okay. No. These are, these are, I will admit, for the most part, cocktails that I would describe as sickeningly sweet are not really my go-to drinks. These... I will also mention that both of these have an aftertaste that just kind of tastes like you drank the soda. It's the same aftertaste that you get from the soda, and I don't exactly know where that comes from, but it is a sweet, orangey aftertaste that I just have from drinking these cocktails so far. Still I mean, like, some would call that a bad thing. I would call that less than ideal, but different strokes and different folks. These are the sweet ones. Very sweet indeed. I don't think this changed the flavor. I don't know. You do. Oh, okay. Let's make it dramatic. It's cocktail lesmer. Casmer, if you will. Yeah, so I'm thinking by itself, they actually look pretty, so the additive, like... Oh, man, we're really doing a number of this piece of rock candy. Yeah, no. It's and like down to the bone. Later. It doesn't really taste much different. Right? I don't think it changed anything. No, that's that's like... Yeah. I think the, the raspberry soda imparts too much of its own flavor. And it's too sweet because mm -hmm. this is a little more cotton candy -y, tastes already enough like the rock candy that adding the rock candy doesn't really do too much to the flavor. Just kind of adds it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what would you call it now? Just still mRNA? Okay. Is there other types of RNA? Yeah. I just don't know what they are. How about just RNA? No. No, I guess we added something else I, to it. It doesn't really change Oh, wait. Anything. What is RNA code for? Codons? Ribosomes. It codes for the the DNA. The mRNA is the transfer from the DNA in order to put it into the new um programming. Is there a don't word quote for me on that. that? Is there a word for that? I don't know. RNA transcription. I want to try this one. I need something. Don't let me drink that again. That's gross. No more. Anna's no longer drinking it. It goes to the bucket. Oh well, that's rude. No, right, I can drink it too. I mean, you can <laughs> do whatever you want. What do you want me to do, dear? I am at your disposal. I am your bartender. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just upset because that was a really good drink, and then we added that, and I feel like, ooh, it's too much now. RNA doesn't change. If you keep adding things to RNA, it just it's just more RNA. I just I think it, it's, it's too much. It's too much. It's just too much. It's just too it, much. Apoptosis. In RNA, we created apoptosis and chlorophyll. One kills you. One it provides the source of life and whatnot for plants, and the other one is just like like general. So going like, back, mRNA. Too much is going on. Very chaotic, very sweet, to the point where it's too much. Oh, sorry, the dowel. Chlorophyll had a nice balance between like fruity flavors while keeping that sugary component more towards the beginning. But of course. And then apoptosis, so when you add that rock candy, it becomes too complex. So there's too much sugar. It's overpowering the So other much flavors. sugar that the cell is like, yep, I'm out of here. Apoptosis. Program I'm just making death. sure you have notes for later. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know mm -hmm. how much you have said. Actually, you know what? That's that's a very good point. I'm gonna mark this for myself later, so I know that I can go back to this point. There we go. Absolutely marked. Did you get all that? There will not be a test later, will there? I don't know. I would like encourage anybody to be taking tests while under the influence of alcohol, and we are already under the influence of alcohol. Good job. This is how it be. And that's how you can at least use, um, what is it? You've got some Country Club soda here. Yeah. Evidently, Country Club Refrescos has a variety of different flavors, including the meringue flavor that we've explored here. I know there were a as couple well as the, the, uh, the raspberry. Yeah. Was it Country Country Club? So by itself, soda. I like the Country Club like raspberry one. I think that's fine by itself. But like, 
The mm -hmm. merengue is like better to mix. I think at least with what we did. I, I feel see. like that would be completely different if we had watermelon instead of the apple though. And if we use something beyond that. Art Was there a watermelon and apple as well? I don't know what they have. I just know there were the, different colors. Just trying to find the flavors. Doing well, a Google search. They are bottled in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. But they hey, Mario. Are... That kind of works with the whole like Mario and Luigi thing we had earlier. Natural, but it says Refresco National Dominico Cano. I don't know what that means. The Refresco Nacional Dominico. I don't know what that means. I assumed it was a location. Shop by country. Meringue soda, a subtle fruity flavor and minimal fizz. Domin it is the Dominican National Soda. The Dominican National Soda. I think that's what Refresco Nacional Dominicano. That would make sense. Ref yeah. You know what? Actually, yeah. Okay, I need to go find those bottle caps so I can pretend to cap them again. Oh, so this is the National Soda of Dominican Dude, Republic. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's cool. I did that by accident. We did that. We brought chlorophyll and apoptosis to the Dominican Republic. No, the Dominican Isn't that beautiful? Republic. What a wonderful way to spend our anniversary. Oh, you're, you're capping them? Yeah, why wouldn't I write? Oh, do you have the open? Yes, I just found it. Camera. Oh, okay. Nice. I wish I had a re chopping machine nice that works right very good i don't want to waste this. very nice it's not like they're very bubbly though either so like no they're not like super what's the sugar content on it i don't uh sugar content yeah 47 grams mm. and 47 grams of mm. added sugar both uh, of them are added both added none of them come from the original fruit actually is there any fruit in these things i don't think so Triple filtered carbonated oh water, God. high to high fructose corn, corn syrup, syrup natural, natural and artificial, artificial meringue flavor. I have frambuesca, frambuesa, frambuesca, citric acid, citric acid, sodium, sodium benzoate, benzoate, and artificial colors. FDNC red yellow 40. number five and FDNC oh, yellow. Our friend is allergic red forty. To this one. Mm -hmm. I have red forty. What is we that? We do one? have friends that are allergic to red forty. I like the taste of red forty. This mm. makes more sense now. Makes a lot of sense. But you like the red green one more. I like the green one more, but I like this one better when it's by itself. All right. So, okay. we'll take these ingredients Where will and we move put them? on. I'm going to put them on the floor or something, you know, just a, a, pro a location prime for us to- Please don't break them. them. I would put them on the table. I don't know I if I want to drink those again, but you know. Them on the floor. I should put them over there. Over time. You might have to remake something, you know. That's okay. One never really knows. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. Let's take, or you want to keep the rock candy in that particular orientation? Yes. Uh, because that is my rock candy for stirring. Very good. So we've made- We've technically made two cocktails so far. Ones that we've Wait, decided upon, mRNA and chlorophyll, AKA apoptosis, with the additional of rock candy, the program cell death of the cell. This is the whole, we got a whole biology theme going it's on here. It's too It's whatever it is. This is an aspect of our relationship. What we is it? We want to get metaphorical, right? It's the, I don't know, we have cell, Cellology here. I literally Maybe this started is supposed to represent the physical games. love. I started looking for board games that have educational components. Love. Board games. So like, uh, we have cellulose. Mm. Actually, um, where is cellulose? It's probably. I mean, do we have cellulose? Yeah, yeah it should be cellulose? easily accessible. The game that this is inspired by. Ironically enough, I have um, no idea where cellulose. Oh my gosh, it's not that hard here. I can't. Oh, wait, wait, it's so called cytosis. Cytosis. Sorry, it's called cyto. Whoa! And I just can't work. Don't break things. So I think we can end this by saying we figured out we figured out the inspiration for these two cocktails here, and that is our love of board games. Yes. This is a game called Cytosis, a cell biology game, and it has as components mRNA and glucose and other things and whatnot. I think There's it has a bunch DNA. Of, bring the cocktail and... angle over. Show the people. Show the people these. There we go. This is a game called Cytosis. This is the I very box. highly advise this one. If it you is like a very good resource game. collection. It is a resource management type game where you're essentially just trying to keep the cell. You're just well, the goal to is to be the best cell. The and most... in order to be the best cell, you have to have the most components file and you have to have the There's most things of, done. a bunch of stuff on it's, here. Um, the first time you play it, it's a little confusing because you're like trying to figure out like how do you just keep grabbing things? How do you keep grabbing things? Whereas like the second and third, fourth time, it's fine. Right. I don't want to look at my face for a while longer. It's, no it's, more face? it's almost as disgustingly hot messish like the MRI used to be. I'm going to try to put your game back. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, come here. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't let you play. We with did it. We did it. We did it. I, I fixed it. Everything is okay. Okay. Everything is great. I think. Great job. Nice job, dude. High five. Nah. Okie dokie. Next, Rex. Next. <laughs> Why would you cry? Stop crying. 
Okay, what else can I make? I cry all the time. Not because of my relationship. Well, maybe a little bit. Why oh, that, that's so mean. Mm. Poor Anna, mm. sad. Anna has to go away you now cry because about she's sad. You relationship too, right? Well, like, imagine one day if the relationship, if the, the music, when the music died, don't you cry about that? Bye bye, Miss American Pie? No, what are you talking about? I don't know where I'm going with this. Now that does the rest of America, oh. that's great. There's no crying at the Pride Ball. There's no I crying have a at the Pride Ball. Stop crying. What is your question? I forgot my question. <laughs> I thought you were about to cry. <laughs> what did we say? I don't know, but I forgot my question. Oh my <laughs> this happens a lot. I'd like to think that the presence of people, make, like when people make their presence known, that's what causes this. We can bring, blame our friend Rye for this one. No, don't blame Your lack of train of thought. Them, Go ahead. Yeah, him, keep on, her. keep on, keep on throwing it, Rye. Keep on doing that. I don't know their pronouns, so I, I feel cannot so use them bad properly. for you, Rye. I'm very sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm still trying to remember. That's my okay. That's okay. Well, let's see. We have a couple of different ingredients, right? That we also pulled up from the depths of Walmart. Oh! Oh! My I want goodness. the Doctor Thunder thingy. Doctor Thunder thingy. All right. The next ingredient is Doctor Thunder. Th <laughs> Dr. Thunder! Okay, gotcha. All of the, the pronouns. I now know what pronouns Doctor. Doctor. So, just, just, just in news. case anyone wants to know, uh, my favorite soda. Oh, get out of here. You. My favorite Remind soda is Dr. Thunder. It is the oh, knockoff Dr. Dr. Pepper. Um, it tastes more watered down, so it tastes less acidic. And it's cheaper. Dr. Thunder. <laughs> there we go. Uh, why, why would you give it five? I just felt like it. That doesn't make sense. Like so, Dr. Thunder is a favorite in this beautiful house of ours. Anna loves, it's loves cheaper. Dr. Pepper. And we also well, actually, love being frugal. So, Dr. P Pepper, like, upsets my stomach after a while. But this one upsets my stomach less. Very low Pepsi sodium. Pepsi upsets my stomach most. Very low I've sodium. Learned. Very low sodium. <laughs> it's the only knockoff endorsed by Thor. Dr. Thunder and their pal, Mountain, Mountain Lightning. Lightning. We don't have any mountain lightning. We don't. We don't like I to don't keep, keep mountain mountain, lightning. mountain stuff in this house. Why? We're very much about the clouds. The family has a whole like motif of weather about them. My Ooh, family, at least. What? Yeah, you know, because I'm I'm like the mighty thunders of Thor slinging down my lightning Since bolts when? from above. Electrical engineer, obviously. How does that even? Connect? The youngest is meteorology. It's the entire prediction of the weather and like super special mathematical models that are like on second to third to fourth differential equation status. And then music, because the waves of the sea are like a rhythm. How does that have to do with weather? Because the tides and like the moon influences the weather and like the wind currents and stuff and <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah. what are we doing with this? Yeah. So we actually we have two different ingredients for the Dr. Thunder. Oh, one thing that you can do in pretty much cooking, I guess, but also cocktail mixology is you can do what's called a reduction. And I've absolutely I've never covered a reduction on stream before because I've never actually conducted a reduction. Reduction, a reduction is essentially the idea of boiling off all of a particular liquid inside of something until it boils down to something of less sugar. Components. So essentially, we've got Doctor Thunder and a Doctor Thunder syrup, which was done with a reduction. How this has just that? basically been boiled for like a half hour, and it reduced in size, it reduced in volume by about a half. Okay. So this is half the si half the volume it was before, which means can you know, I guess, correspondingly, there is twice as much sugar per unit volume than there would have been previously. Yes. So, mm -hmm. we use that one. What do I use? Well, we can use that. The Real Some Homeless Man says that Dr. Thunder Reduction actually sounds fantastic. It was so nice to smell the kitchen. We made a Dr. Thunder Reduction as well as a Coca-Cola Reduction. Because I feel like I could use a Coca-Cola Reduction in a lot of different things. Yeah, he took out two Coca-Cola cans and was like... And then there was only one left. That's the reduction by half. That's the whole idea. Most of the water just like, oh, it smelled beautiful. The Dr. Thunder reduction, as it was boiling off, actually smelled like bubblegum. It was great. Yeah. The Coca-Cola reduction smelled like Coca-Cola, and then after a while, kind of like something was burning because it, then was, it was burning like a little Then it was like burning bit. caramel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, caramel. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what sugar do. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar be doing things like that mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so, the idea of using a Dr. Thunder, or like Dr. Pepper reduction. There's a couple of different recipes that we have here. One of which, it actually calls for Dr. Pepper specifically. However... <sighs> but Dr. Pepper... You're looking at the recipes, do you want to... Oh, okay, do, do I click one? that? You can do that one. I click that button. So there's two different options that Anna could Ooh, have picked. it's whiskey. One, oh, but it's, it's better than whiskey. 
That's fireball. It's fireball whiskey. That sounds horrible. Do we have that? Oh, we do. There are a couple of different ways that you can use Dr. Pepper, pretty much subbing it out for anything that would cause for Coca-Cola. But one of the things that I think is a particular favorite of our life is, uh, uh, I mean, not in the best Where's of the ways. Where's the sake? Fireball. Sake's downstairs. I'm going to get gotta, sake. Anna's going to go down and get I some sake. I'm going to get a good replacement. As I provide the exposition for the next segment of our show over here. Oh, please don't fall down the stairs. My heart. Real Some Homeless says, Coca-Cola reduction is amazing, can confirm, and now my life will be graced with it, just as my life has been graced with the beautiful presence of Anna for the last nine years. Rye says, it's amazing, Dr. Pepper and Fireball, which is why we're gonna do it. So I think I have a thing of Fireball down here somewhere. I don't have a container of actual Fireball. I have been working here. Once upon a time, I was a wonderful young boy in college. I was a fraternity boy of the beautiful Theta Chi fraternity, and Fireball Fridays were a thing. Wanting to participate in the social activities of my fellow brethren, I decided to go to the store. I don't think I... I was definitely of age at the time. Let's just put that in canon right there. I bought a whole handle of Fireball. 1.75 milliliter bottle of Fireball that you could carry around in a handle, with a handle on it. Kind of looked like a jug. Anna's brought up some sake. I think we should try both. And... During every Fireball Friday, I would go downstairs. I lived on the third floor. I made my way down to the second floor where we were, would enjoy some libations sponsored, not sponsored, but utilizing Fireball whiskey, a.k.a. gasoline in some context. Um, this is all I have left of that handle. I've been trying to get rid of it for years. Every Why once in a while. Uh, because this is the bottle I had. It's a raspberry jam. Framboesa. Framboesa. That sounds as we learned earlier. If your girlfriend would put it out, try Delta. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Get it? Funny. Get it? That's a, that sounds terrifying. It's funny. It's funny. Actually, I think... Hmm. I want to say there's a joke to be had here. I don't remember which sorority it was, but one sorority was notorious for pissing in our showers. Don't know which one they were. Wouldn't name drop them anyways. Just a... Yeah, you know. they'd be very rich. Yeah, it was definitely one of the alphas. I think we should alphas. use these because we're they gonna have use, dice. Got dice in them. But we need to compare the difference between using Fireball mm -hmm. and using Sake. So, Anna loves Sake as well. We had like a little... We had like a... We had an obsession with sake for a while. Yeah, because I was I was learning and that I'm you could still, boil it and then you could like serve it cold. To this day, I've been trying to find more. I'm always on the lookout for more there sake like no cocktail sake recipes. Things. It's just just kind of hard to come by. Relatively so we just speaking. need to make them up. Indeed, of course. I think my favorite of, of my own creation is the my chocolate sake teeny. That was a good one. It was a pretty good one. I did not drink it, but it looked cool. Dom says that Fireball hits me in ways that whiskey just doesn't. Sometimes, I mean, some would say that Fireball is just Isn't fundamentally Fireball different from whiskey. Is like so a whiskey liqueur? It is a considered, I think, a whiskey malt beverage, I think. There is a whole debate about that right now because some containers of Fireball say whiskey on it, but you can buy them in like, like, um, mm. like gas stations and stuff, which you can't sell hard liquor in. So they consider it like a malt beverage, although technically it's, the, I don't really know. Alcohol content. This sounds concerning. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. And indeed, we will move on. We so, our Fireball and Dr. Pepper recipe essentially calls for putting some ice in a glass, adding one part Fireball whiskey, and one part Dr. Pepper. Or, Dr. Pepper thunder reduction, if we want to. That's just going to make the flavor even more intense, which I think for the purposes of our sickeningly sweet anniversary, will fit quite well here. Okay. And then we add a maraschino, you know, maraschino cherry on top if do we I want to. Do I have to add a cherry? No, you don't have to add a cherry on top. I mean, you can add a cherry. You can do whatever like you cherries. want to. I like cherries. Real some homeless says there are two versions of Fireball. That's the shots version. I don't consider those to be alcohol. Well, Wait. some say that Fireball just shouldn't be considered alcohol anyways. I knew a couple of attendees to the parties who would claim that. I'm confused. And then that. half the bottle was gone. So, I'm gonna grab some ice from over here. I'm gonna put them in our containers. Okay. Shall we? Do Shall I mix we? these? Uh, fill a rocks glass with ice and then add whiskey and then fill to the top. Oh, okay. Yep. Essentially, that's what we got going on here. Let me take some of these bottles and put them back to the little bar. Ooh. 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 Citrony. Ooh. Give me citronga. This one goes here. That's Spanish for something I don't know. Citronga. And the Johnny Bootlegger is down there now. So it's which the anniversary? Apple. This is number nine. Number nine. Number nine. He's been stuck number with me nine. for so long. Yeah, next year is the Big Ten. What's the What's the? Um, we'll be married by then. Yeah, dude, it's nine years, and then we get married. What's the ten? What's ten supposed to be? What gemstone is that? Am I getting a diamond? No. Maybe. Wait, don't we have to restart because we're getting married? So you have to start from year one, and now I gotta start back all the way at the beginning. Shucks. Yeah. That sucks. You're welcome. No. Yeah, it's fine. All right, I got some spherical ice cubes that we're going to use. Spherical ice cubes. Spherical ice cubes. Here we go. Spherical ice cubes. 
Isn't that cool? That was aggressive. They're technically not even spherical ice no, cubes very because not. they are not cubes. No, they just don't look yeah. spherical. They're like oblonged and weirdly shaped. Would you like to bring the cocktail angle over to show the people oh, what okay, you're referring okay, okay. to? Because you're absolutely right. You're, you're so right. Control five. You're absolutely right about that. These these balls, if you will, are not quite. They, they're as spherical as they, they need to be. Kind of odd. Well, they actually, look, you don't really see it in the angle. Observe these two balls. The they are traditional crystal. ninth anniversary gift is pottery. Tenth Ten anniversary, tin, tin or, or aluminum. aluminum. Dude, I love that idea. You can make really cool solutions out of tin foil, like like chemical solutions. We're going back to the chemistry again. Tim pottery. This these are glasses. I made you <sighs> glass. Ice Maybe cubes. Straight up glass, yo. We could go for a pottery class. We could do a pottery class. Oh, we don't have time. Sure we do. I mean, not today, obviously. No. Wait, it's only 9 o'clock. We still have time for a pottery class. We're in the middle of a street. Goodbye, Cameron. Well, okay, you hello. Are me on this pottery adventure of love, no, and clay making? No, we agreed on, like, stream. 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 Yay! So in order to create your... Fireball and Dr. Pepper, Should or your sake and Dr. Pepper. Yeah, we, I mean, we can put them on the side. Okay. I don't know, they're the kind of, they're, they're small. They're small, and I'm terrified that you're gonna break them. I'm gonna put them in an undisclosed location so as to not break anything. Oh, okay. Because I have broken glasses before. Yeah, I don't and want him to break many glasses. I'm more comfortable to admit. I'm sure there's a midnight pottery and wine class somewhere. <laughs> Probably. What's the? It's like a, a paint. Paint. What is it? Uh, stitch and bitch is a thing. Stitch and bitch. Wine is a thing. and well, paint wine and dine. Wine and dine. Well, I mean, uh, there's wine and. Uh, there's like a wine and. There's a wine and paint, paint class. but I don't. I think down they just on call South it Street. Wine. There's also the one that's down the road that's nearby a brunch place. Really? Is there pottery classes around us? I don't even know if. It's Alexa, pottery. are there any pottery classes around us right now? Ooh. Cheetah Agency. 80 oh, miles? That's a long way away. Alexa, volume 7. Anyways, Sips and Drips. I like that one. That's a that's a nice little... Uh, it rhymes. It's cool, and I like it. That sounds yeah. suggestive. Sips and Drips? Yeah. Heyo. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't really know either. Yeah, okay. Moving on to things less sexual. Alcohol. <laughs> so essentially, we're going to combine equal parts of Fireball Whiskey... And Dr. Pepper, Dr. Thunder, reduction. What's your side? What's, what side? This is two full ounces, aka about 59 milliliters. The line that you see there is one and a half. That's going to be about 44 milliliters. You know, in case you wanted to know. Take the Dr. Thunder out of the way. Pop you over there. Add three full ounces and then just kind of fill with the other one. Three full ounces of spirit. So one side is going to get the sake and one is going to get the fireball. I'm actually curious to see how this color changes too as we add one to the other. That is one and a half ounces you've added. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, I see you're doing it twice. One and a half times two is three. Which might be a little too intense nice. because I remember this one maybe. being dry. That's a Maybe, lot. maybe. Yeah, I mean, it fills up the container, it seems. That's this is for a full glass of this. Full glass. So sake, particularly, may I see that for a moment? This sake has been sitting in our fridge for probably over a year. It's yep. called Soto, a premium Junmai sake. Those words mean probably nothing to me. I cannot remember what they mean. It says on the back that I'm pretty soto, sure it's a rice base. Soto, meaning outside in Japanese, is a celebration of the Earth's purest elements brought together to make this premium quality, all natural product serve chilled or enjoy straight in cocktails or while dining. Soto, government warning. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Two, consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and yes. may cause health problems. I wonder if that includes pottery wheels. I don't think you drive those, but yes, I would, I would assume. Is it not considered machinery? Hmm. I can't read that. That's a lot of kanji. <laughs> Rai says, insert kanji here, I can't read that. <laughs> or maybe that's the translation. How did you look in this? With the power of my manhood and a lot of encouragement from my grippy. Got it. Dr. Thunder in Japanese. Ooh. Oh. I was gonna say I was gonna speak that in a way that might be a little racially uncouth, but I decided not to. Yeah, you should just not doesn't do feel that. like you don't it's know the right how to place for that. This. I can't speak at all. Come on. A two. Sandako Sanda Dokuta. Sanda Dokuta. You want me to pronounce it? You can certainly try. I want to see it. Sanda Koktua. There we go. Sanda Koktua. <laughs> Dude, 
We still have so much fireball left. Why would you do this? Okie dokie. We're going to switch to the cocktail angle. This is the color of both drinks so far. It was perfectly fine the way that I had it, Cameron. Thank you very much, Cameron. Right? I don't know. And now, I wonder if we can get a full three ounces out of this container. Let's try it. May I do the honors? Yeah, go ahead. Okie dokie. So this is our Dr. Thunder reduction. Are you supposed to like, stir these? I mean, yeah. Then fill it down. It doesn't say so. Well, I imagine since we're building it in the glass, we really don't need to stir things too much. There's not too much going on here, uh -huh. aside from stacking things on top of each other. That smells good. From here. How does it smell from there? It smells better. Indeed. <laughs> Smells like oh my god, it's dripping onto the bar. That? It's dripping onto the bar. I can't believe it. There we go. There's about two ounces into the sake. Do ten ounces into the fireball. And then hopefully we have like an ounce left of each of them. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll find out. Oh yeah. Just a bit. It's a little shy of an ounce, but we got it. Okay. Wow, that's so cool. I made that specifically for the stream, and now. It's just gone. Okay. Into the bucket, he says, certainly not throwing it. We had that idea. Oh, it did kind of sound satisfying. I'm gonna grab my, grab my thing over here. Does Dr. Thunder have 23 flavors? So this is Fireball and Dr. Thunder. No. I don't think so. Dr. Thunder oh, wait, has carbonated right water, there? a high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, natural and artificial flavor, of which there may be 23 of them. Phosphoric acid, potassium, benzoate, preservative, and caffeine. Mm. We'll find out. Caffeinated cocktails. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Love that. I'd also put the fireball bottle on the thing, but we just wouldn't know. Is that the sake one? Yes. It tastes like sake. Mm. It really tastes like... It tastes like watered down See, sake. what's interesting to think is that, like, so if we were to have used, just used Dr. Thunder, this would be a less oh! intense cocktail. This is so good! I'm gonna try the sake one. You're not gonna like that. <laughs> oh my. It's like a red hot. <laughs> oh my. God, that's a red hot. You could garnish this with a maraschino <laughs> cherry if you want to, but the lady of the house, the one who wears the pants, says no. I'm actually wearing a skirt. You're not wearing pants? I'm wearing a skirt. The only person so far to have not worn pants behind the bar. Um, I've also worn a onesie. That is, does that not technically function as pants? I mean, like, technically, isn't your skirt functioning as pants? I feel like you're kind of egging people on here. Uh, I can't squat. I'd rather you not. So we're not doing. Please don't squat behind my bar. So this one tastes like. Not like, unless. I'll rip my pants if I do that. What do you think of the hmm. sake? Wait, are you drinking cold sake? The sake yes. has been cold. Yes. It is one of the ways to enjoy, either chilled or otherwise. You can also warm it up. We do have one of those little sake things because it was really Oh my god, it's so cool. We actually do. We have one of those little sets where you can like, so you, like serve the sake and put in the little in the carafe. Hot water. Yeah, it's so cool. Oh, it's awesome. It's so cute. It's the cool oh, little, little things. it's the little carafe. It's got a little lip at the top. We haven't done that in a while. To be fair, we, we probably haven't done that should, in this though. apartment. We haven't. We need we to consecrate do... this apartment with hot sake. No, I've discovered I don't really like hot sake because it's more alcoholic. I don't like cold sake. Was this the. That was the sake. What so yeah, the, the Dr. Thunder sake isn't really that bad. It has that air of rice wine. Like I feel like rice wine sake has a certain taste that's associated with it. This is kind of candy-like in a way. I like it. It's, it's kind of rice, it's kind of like rice, it's like a rice pudding almost. If that rice pudding were like cherry flavored. It's like cherry, it's like cherry rice, almost like a cherry mochi almost. It reminds me of cherry mochi. Yeah, no, I could get the cherry mochi. It just, it kind of tastes just watered down. Oh yeah, it's very much a watered down. It's not super intense. It's actually very pleasant. Actually, I think it's more like a flavored, like it definitely, it, the first reaction was definitely sake. Mm -hmm. It's very obviously sake. Oh, for sure. But I don't think it's bad. This is definitely not like any uh, tequila I've ever tried. Naturally. Okay. Rai says, I don't think I've ever done cold sake. Always been served warm. No, that one's cold. I that one also says refrigeration is recommended if you open it. So Well, we I mean, you would heat it up. You'd heat it up afterwards. Oh, well, we yeah, keep like it we've, in the fridge. I think when we went through our sake phase, we would take, we bought a couple types of sake. We I think there's like, like three downstairs and they haven't been touched no, in months. I think that's the Maybe only less. one I could find. Oh, that's actually. So we might have gotten rid of two or three. We'll drink it all. But we decided to try them room temperature. Cold, cold and, and then, then hot. hot. And I think we settled upon cold being, I guess, your favorite I way to drink it. I really like warm, warm sake. It actually depended on this one. I remember liking cold. 
specifically. The other ones, I, I think this was the one I really hated warm in the sense of like, it tasted like too much. Like it was it was too much and I don't like the taste of alcohol. So the fact that it's it very tasted much, it's more very alcoholic. Intense. Relatively speaking to other sakes, this is a lot more, this is a little more, a little more boozy, a lot this more flavorful. More yeah. This is alcohol content wise, I think uh, it's 28 high. proof. So 14% yeah, alcohol by volume. I think that's a I high think sake. it would be more intense, says Rai Cerrone, uh, for Dr. Thunder flavor with more of the, more of the reduction, like syrup. Yeah, if we were to reduce this, yeah. I think, I think I did this right before stream. So yeah. the reason why it's not even more syrupy was because of just a time restriction. Well, I mean, we could go get a pot and just do that on side. It would take about an hour and Oh, that would take an hour? It takes a while for it to reduce. We're just, we're letting the water bubble off on its own. Not happening. Mm -mm. Sorry. I didn't actually try the fireball one yet. So that one, oh, I'll wait. Okay. Oh, this smells like Friday nights. What do you mean it smells like Friday? Fireball Fridays? No, I don't think so. It tastes like a red hot candy, like a hot tamales. I don't really like that. I love it. I you gotta like remember, I love the cinnamon candies. It is very cinnamon. It's cinnamon. If we had cinnamon. a hot tamale, it's sweet cinnamon. Ooh, yeah, it is kinda, perfect. It's less spicy than hot. Happy tamale. anniversary! Happy anniversary! <laughs> this is not a. <laughs> this is not a noisemaker. Uh, um, yeah, Thank you. Take, take this. Take this. Anytime somebody says happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary! Right. Yeah. We're in the middle of sake. Mm. Is that this is fireball, one? actually. This one's the fireball. All things considered, that just tastes like fireball. It's no. just very, very fireball. -y. It tastes like, okay, so my big thing is fireball is too intense by itself, at least at my age. It's too much. My age. Ha ha ha. I, I, have a distinct, <laughs> I have a distinct memory. This is one of the first times Anna visited my fraternity house. Okay, okay. It was during a party. A moment, please. And then I have to tell my side of it. We we are having a party. And so downstairs comes one of the alumni brothers, and he comes around with this box of fireball, which he had removed the cardboard box around it, so it is just a bag of fireball. No, there was a box around it when no, I had okay, it. Okay, there was a spigot that you could suckle a yes, fireball yes, out yes, of. So be. along comes the older brother, and he's like, we're doing fireball stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, give me some of that. And I take a little bit of it, only there for a couple seconds or so. I fill my mouth, I swallow it, we're happy. Anna's like, yo, I want some fireball too. So she comes over. It felt like it was a solid minute of you just like going for it. <laughs> okay, what happened was when they poured it, they Complete did not pour any stopper. of it. Literally, I was there and I'm like, why is none of this coming out? So I take the box and I tap it backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As <laughs> As it is being because administered by another person, she's like, I she's like, no, more, more of this. And she pulls the box up. And she's like, I want more of the hot dog. No, I just wanted to have some. There was none getting into my mouth. And they were like, yo, Cameron, your girlfriend's so cool. I'm like, dude, I couldn't drink any. You didn't pour it. Cameron with an X got wrecked that day. It was wonderful. Some married couples continue to put the focus on their old anniversary, even after getting married. It's totally Ooh. Oh. On their old anniversary. Especially if you're pulling. You might have more than one anniversary you're used to celebrating, especially if you're polyamorous or really What's good at polyamorous? remembering dates. For example, polyamory would be with multiple people, more than okay. just two. So Anna does not do that. For some married couples continue to put the focus on Cameron's the not supposed to do that. Well, I mean, like, I kind of like the idea. Not, I'm not going to- I like the multiple the, dates. I'm not I do going not to, like I'm the not going down the polyamory We're not route. doing that. We've had way However, too many conversations. However, I like the idea, for example, like, this is a particular- like, our ninth anniversary is really special. It's well, currently I happening. like Friday the 13th. It's true. It's and true. also, if we celebrate this, so our wedding is January 13th, so it's like oh, a full six that months too. out. Yeah, it's a very cool number. We like the number so, 13. Yes. Uh, I mean, everything I everything, everything important happens on the 13th. But the like, wedding it is works because it's like 13th. five and seven date, uh, five mm -hmm. and seven months away. So like, we could technically still celebrate. A preborn child is the difference in time between now and our wedding. A very preborn child. I'm Seven months or so. I am not pregnant. We are good. <laughs> She's not pregnant. All right. That means I'm not the father, right? Should I be celebrating this? <laughs> what the hell? We're gonna we're gonna defer we're celebrating we're for that particular statement till later, after at least two or three so more weeks. So wait, now I want to know research-wise, like, was this just a decision? Like, what? Like older, know. like older celebrations, you know? I wasn't suggesting that you were or should be polyamorous. I feel like that's the impression you got. I just wanted to be inclusive at any non-monogamous viewers. This is actually I once met a person at a bar. You're having a conversation. She's like, I don't believe in monogamy. And I was like, you and I have different opinions. See, like, no, I'm totally good. Oh no, no I literally was like, oh yeah, yeah, I gotta tell my I'm having a lot of fun. Like, I wish my fiance were here. She's like, you have 
one? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, I don't believe in a monogamy. It's like, all right. See, like, I, no. think it, I think it's fine for other people. For me, like, it was not such happening. an. I was a very wonderful bar night. The jazz music was not jazz. It was rock and roll. Although it was jazz night, I was very confused. Wait, what? I was at a bar in Charleston, and I was hanging out with some of my. You know boy, what I want? My boy toys. I want to go to a bar. Don't ever say that again. Oh, I know. Hanging out with right. some of my boy toys. Oh god. Shash some of my boy toys. Bang a rang. That's no. Skrillex. This starts to make sense now because I never even like I consider most. I automatically think monogamy. So like. I love this. You would have multiple. Multiple drinks, as no, if to be a, an analogy oh for multiple gosh. dates or multiple what is partners. All Why is time? my pan under? Oh, never mind. Why are you kicking my pan? That's my pan. That's, That's from college. Okay, but it's That's all metal, and it works my induction stovetop, and I love it. Okay, okay. I'm very distracted. So let's see. You enjoy the Dr. Thunder and Fireball mix, aptly named Fireball and Dr. Pepper, although this is not the pepper. This is the thunder. I think what would make it even better, Spice of life. which we do not have, would be like one of those Fireball candies. The cinnamon ones? Yeah, no, we don't have any cinnamon candy. Do we have else. cinnamon? We have cinnamon. Can we put? Oh, cinnamon? actually, do you want to put some freshly grilled salam cinnamon over top? Yeah. Cinnamon. Would you mind handing the grater? We're gonna we're gonna up things up a little bit. Remember, we also have to come up with names with these. Um, I guess specifically for the sake one, I guess. Yeah, this one's not really. Yeah. This one's not really new. So let's see. We're gonna add some freshly no, grated salon twist. cinnamon over top Flaming of it. Flaming thunder. <laughs> Flaming thunder. I like that. There we go. There's some cinnamon over top of that. Oh well, you just chew in the container. Up. Well, yeah, it's it's a piece of wood, dude. So do I like stir it? What do I do here? Or is I mean, that you could just like we could go for it, or you could do otherwise. It's really the world is your oyster. Well, first, shouldn't you take a picture of that? Because it looks pretty. I am continuing to forget. Take your picture. Uh, Control five. Right, right, right. You're doing, really, you're doing a really good job of keeping it together. Here we go. It kind of looks like, like I don't even know. These are kind of our. These are our. Oh, could you <laughs> switch the cocktail angle? Oh, Look at your face. Switch it off. Look at your face. It's a beautiful face. Wait, no, I like this. This is. Okay, okay, okay. You here, here would you like to frame it for frame it for the fans of the Insta and the cocktail blog? Well, this one needs to go. Oh, we're doing it separately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. My phone does not want to focus recently. It's actually quite insane. This looks, to some would say, disgusting. Okay, give me that. No. <laughs> ah, no, horrible. Let's see. I like that. Flaming thunder, flaming thunder, flaming thunder. Actually, flaming thunder times three, I feel like is a very meta, but also apt drink name. Most people grind the side of the cinnamon stick, not the end. I have learned that. This is a very expert tip. Oh, God, it doesn't focus. I've now been branding myself as a novice mixologist. It's true, though. Why does it keep jumping? It's interesting. So this particular... this per, the, Whoa. The camera on this particular phone, I think, is aware of the distance. So when you get too close to the subject, it actually switches angles ever so slightly. It's very jarring. Okay. The Google Pixel 7 Pro, it's it's annoying. Uh, I haven't taken oh, this go, one yet. Because this one doesn't have a thing. In the meantime, I'm going to chug fireball. We'll, we'll put this one right here. It's okay, okay, it's okay. Okay. I'm going to put the fireball back down where it's supposed to be. Can confirm. Anna is not wearing pants. All right. I'm wearing a skirt you wear. That's true. And there are pants underneath it. Although technically they're shorts. Um, Actually, they're boxers. Are they really? Yeah. I'm wearing boxers. I'm not going any farther with this joke. We're not going to question <laughs> what I just said. Does it have auto HDR? I think it does have the auto HDR. Okay, I think those yeah. are good. Actually, I wonder. Oh, maybe if I... More settings. Oh, hello there. Okay. Auto okay. HDR? Is that? I am very there? happy we used the sake on that. Now, let's see how this... I'll have to look into it. I was looking into it last week, but that is a good idea. Thank you, Rai. What do you think? Even more cinnamony than before? It's better. Ooh. Be careful about taking too much of that. Kind of like sits there, almost like the um, cinnamon candy. Yeah, it tastes no different. Not to me, at least. <laughs> Just tastes hotter. It's all very sugar fire. Please do not take shots of cinnamon. It tastes it's like dangerous. fried. Yeah, please don't do that cinnamon challenge thing. You could quite literally die. That's just whack. What happens if I put a rock candy in? Would you like to add rock? Wait, wait, we need to, we need to name these first. I want flaming. What was it? Th flaming thunder. Times flaming three. thunder. Flaming thunder times three. Mm -hmm. Flaming thunder times three. This is cocktail number three, technically. Okay. Flaming thunder. That would be the one that has the um the fireball in it. Yes. Yes. I would assume so. 
Lightning Thunder. Times cocktail three. number three. Times three. It's cocktail number three. It's times okay. three. And then now the socket one. Why did you put the rock candy in my sake drink? Because I wanted to taste it. I liked it. Oh shit. You <laughs> ruined it. That's okay. We're a mixologist here. It's a mixology kind of family. It's a workshop episode. Wait, I didn't finish mixing it. If you keep drinking it, my rock candy's not gonna fit. Does it taste bad now? It is a drink. Kinenbi Thunder for the sake drink. Kinenbi Thunder. Ooh, Japanese for anniversary. Woo! The anniversary thunder. Please, says Ibi Chow, trust me. Cinnamon challenge is a no. Oh my goodness, are you Gosh. speaking from experience? <laughs> Please say no. Don't say that. It scares me. I mean, okay. So and you live to tell the tale. Anniversary socket. Anniversary or, socket. It's anniversary, anniversary thunder. thunder. Anniversary thunder. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I love that, but it's so specific. Like it's still yeah. anniversary thunder even all, on other days than today. It's gotta be more than that. What is? We could call it. Is Jumai. sake another? Is sake already the Japanese word for something? I think sake is just sake. Sake is just sake. Maybe I could be wrong. Is there that. a Japanese word for sake? Is that a stupid question? Please let me know. Well, I'm not no, a I don't think it's a stupid question because chai is just the. I think it's. It's hin green. Hindu? Chai? I thought it's chai tea. was green. I think chai is Hindi. No, chai is the word for tea. tea. So yes. when you say chai tea, tea, tea it's tea tea. 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 Yeah. Tea we tea. just saw that in the Spider Verse yeah, movie the other day. Right. It was awesome. They made a reference there. It's great. I'm sorry to report that I am speaking from experience as Amy Chow. I think that's worth that's worth an applause. Um, you live to tell the tale, though. Congratulations. You live to be able to, to wind up educating the rest of us. Now Good we know. Job. I was, in fact, once a dumbass teen. I still am a dumbass 25-year-old. Sometimes. Um, only on Wednesdays. Only on Wednesdays? What are you talking about? I'm an alcoholic only on Wednesdays. Oh my god, it's like all gone. But today's Tuesday, so today I'm just... Oh my god, it's Tuesday! Today I'm just an alcoholic. There's people outside. Maybe we should call the sake one. Sake, sake. Rice thunder. and thunder. Rice and thunder? No, that sounds racist. Oh, okay. But the sake is made from Weren't rice. Weren't you paying attention to that ghost movie where the late, where the girl was like Asian and she's like, yeah, anyone, everyone's like, oh, I think we need some additional rice. context here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a movie on Netflix called We Have a Ghost. And we decided to watch we the watched, first like, like five minutes of it. No, it was like the first time. Okay, we watched the first few minutes of it. Minutes. And one of the comments made by one of the individuals was they were wiping off, they were wiping off some they were spray painting over some graffiti that said "Call me for rice," and yeah. it was a notably Asian student who was saying, "I'm erasing this so people stop calling me asking for rice." Yeah, she said which that is indeed kind of racist. She was like basically like they all think I just give you rice and I eat rice all the time because I'm Asian, which is legit what she said. I mean, they think that because of the label so, that somebody wrote on the wall. Not so, so rightfully so. So calling it after having that context, we could call it rice wine and thunder. That way, it's literally just we, it's basically sake thunder, rice wine and thunder, rice Maybe wine thunder. That's the translation Maybe. for sake. By the way, says Imichel, I found the Pop Tart wine again, so now we both got it. Oh, That's the blue. Look at the wine, background thing. That's not the Pop Tart wine. No, it is not. I will assure you it's not the Pop Tart wine. What is Jumanji? Junmai is a particular type of sake. What exactly that means? I think Junmai just means like the a premium level of sake, although the exact term Alexa, what does Junmai sake mean? We're gonna learn. Safe is usually defined as false. Oh, Alexa, stop. <laughs> That's the one chance you get this time. It's not sake. Sake. Sake MD. Mountain doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. It's a doctor. 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 Oh! Sake MD. Sake oh, MD. I like that. Sake MD. <laughs> or sake MD. I'm with the rye sake. I like that one. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. Sake MD. so clever. Oh, I love it. I, love I like it. it. You heard it here thir first, folks. You heard it here thirst, folks. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Now introducing the newly clinically uh, 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 clinically acclaimed. I don't clinically acclaimed. I don't know. Doctoring. Sake MD. He is now the practicing uh, doctor of alcoholics. Oh, that would be horrible. I need a doctor. Oh. Does it taste good? It's it's okay. It still tastes the same as before. That didn't really impart as much as a flavor as I was afraid it was going to do. What's up there? Hmm? Oh my I god. Just empty, empty it fast. Because you gotta empty it real fast. Oh my god, do you <laughs> have you ever seen have you ever seen the empty video? No. Can I show for you the empty video? 
This is a little sweeter, but gonna, not like massively. This I'm is the empty back. video and it's absolutely hilarious. I thought you were gonna pull up a video. E-M-P-T-Y. What does that spell? Empty. I removed the E. Now what does it spell? Mumpty. Or M P T. M P T. Okay. 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 You got to remember, Anna uh, doesn't read phonetically. I'm gonna remove the P. M T Y. How could you pronounce that? M T. M P T. Please understand. I have dyslexia. This is fair. This, this is, is fair. This is gonna be I fair. Think next, I'm supposed to remove. Oh no no no! I remove the Y. Now what is it? M T. <laughs> T. What is that? That's the T. It's anti. Anti. N-T. N-T? It's a T. I guess? Yeah, it's just M. Okay. And then And then I erase it completely. Now what is it? Empty. <laughs> it's really funny. That's funny. I like word puns. That's a word pun. It's kind of funny. Is this piece of the cinnamon stick? Oh no, I just took that off of here. Why would you splinter it? Because then- You splintered the rock candy. That's fine. I love it. It's so creative. So avant-garde. So now I can stick it in further. Oh my goodness, she's taking the splintered rock candy and stirring it within Sake MD. Celebrate for it. It made it a little sweeter, but I don't think that's like something you could regularly- Very avant-garde. We love to see cocktail content like that around here. The cocktail world deserves a shakeup, and that shakeup includes, but is not necessarily limited to, splintered rock candy sticks. Okay, I just needed to make it so it was shorter so it could fit into the next drink. Yeah, that. No, I still like it. No, I think it, it just sweetens it. It's a little sweeter. So, like, instead honestly, of tasting, instead of tasting specifically like cherry mochi, mm -hmm. it's a little more general. Yeah. I would describe that as being like whatever the combo so of like cherry like and like blue raspberry. So I feel like if you took like a rock candy or something Actually, and stirred it, it would make it just sweet. This is more sweet. instead of cherry mochi, raspberry mochi. Because that cherry plus blue raspberry just kind of tastes like regular raspberry. I bet if we took the red soda, the frambue frambuesa soda, and added a little bit of it, I don't think it would change it much. Where is it? I put it on the table. Okay, go grab it. You, you just... Oh, you have to twist it. I'm sorry. There we go. Just a tad, please. Just say when. Just say when. Just say yes, please. Yes, additional, please. More. Yes, a little more. When? It was like small dashes. This tastes like no different. That tastes even more raspberry than it did before. Oh my, look at it go. Just filling up that doctor. Oh. That's more that's more balanced than it was. Oh my god, it's that's less so much on the, better. It's less on the sake. It's less on the sake. But it's better? Yeah, I would say that's better. I think that was about probably an ounce. Corrupted Jasper says, Happy anniversary! <laughs> Happy anniversary okay, indeed. Okay, we can't go that loud anymore. No, we have to. Why? No, we don't have to. Your ears are sensitive, I understand that. All right, so I think a shot- a The shot. raspberry, the raspberry soda, adding like an ounce to the raspberry soda? So instead of sake MD, we make it a sake PhD. It's upgraded. I guess so. Is a PhD higher than an MD? MD is you have just to become, a, MD just says medical doctor, doesn't it's it? It's a medical doctor. Medical doctor. A PhD of, is, is like, is a, is a focused. Uh, yeah. Typically it's focused. Sake MD. I feel like we could sake just call PhD. it Doctor Sake, but that just feels too plain. No, 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 no. I like. I'm gonna keep with this because I think it's more balanced now that we've added. So about a shot of this would sake make it more balanced. MD. Is there a level above MD? Well, technically, you can make that an OD. Director, director Sake MD. This is director of the whole health department. Oh God, I don't like that. Oh, that made it a leadership role. Now it's a leadership it's role. Been we know corrupted. how that goes. <laughs> director. Director, direct. No, that's just one of them. Direct, director, no, no, sake. You need your, you need four point five. It's four point five. Point five. I it's definitely director. wrote director. It's, it's director. cocktail number four point five. Okay. We modified the original. That is like very and made it better. Okay. So my notes. This is like the cinnamon. Oh my gosh, I forgot what they're. Flame fireball. thunder times. So they're three. like the fireball, like cinnamon candies. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Red hots. Yes, the red hots. Hot tamales. Hot tamales are different. Yikes. They're both the same flavor. Spicy, spicy, bang, bang. Um, 
So we got that. We're spicy, we have spicy, MD. spicy, bang, bang. We're eating like fantastic. mostly with sake, but like, like you said, I think it was a raspberry thing. I love that. Yes, I love yes. That. yes. Okay. People are going to look at this okay. and be like, sake and Dr. Thunder? Never seen it. Well, Wouldn't no, no, no. What did, what did, what did, gonna be that was out of the water. distilled? No. Distilled? That, what was the, what did you do to the Dr. Thunder? A reduction. We you did a reduction. It. So it's a Dr. Thunder wise. syrup, essentially. Yeah. So Indeed. that, and then when you add that. We reduced it by half. I'm going to taste it again. I'll taste the cinnamon one again, although I really don't want to. Nah, I'm glad I didn't do it a second time. Yeah, I just say it's more balanced. It tastes like a flavored sake, like a well done flavored sake. I like that. Yes. And that's Director Sake MD. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you all very much. We're bowing now. This feels this feels mildly racially uncouth. Well, I didn't do it to be uncouth. I did it for respect. What's the next ingredient, my dear? Oh, um, what's the next ingredient? So we've made technically we have five-ish. We have done the have country two club sodas so far, and even bringing the uh, from from Boisa, from Boisa, the uh, the raspberry soda back mm -hmm. for a kind of a second call decor for uh, the Doctor Thunder drinks for the next ingredient. What ingredient shall we go to next? For the record, for context, I had tasked Anna with finding ingredients for this cocktail stream, and we are going to worship, wor worship, workshop cocktails. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, so far, each ingredient has landed upon a particular flavor combination that Anna is a fan of. Okay. So Sickeningly sweet cocktail. Yeah. No, they've all been sweet. Except I think this is more like, this is more spicy. But it's spicy in a sweet sense. It's very spicy sweet. I think that's the best way to put it, is it's spicy in a sweet sense. Whereas okay. the other ones have all been like sugary sweet. Because mm -hmm. this is very sugary like. Mm -hmm. um, so the, one or two. One or two? Yeah. Oh, you know I'm a two kind of guy. Really? Yes. It's a good thing you're going into that freezer. Ooh, we're going from red, white, and blue ice cream. It's sherbet. Red. Sherbet. White. And blue sherbet. I go get. Do we have a scooper? Ampersand. No. Oh, we don't. Blue sherbet. Oh my god, it's stuck. We don't have a scooper. Oh, we don't have an ice cream scooper in this house. We don't have an ice cream scooper. We don't. Can I use the back of this? It kind of looks like you could you Would potentially use the citrus juicer. Can I just like? Oh, no. no, I guess not. All right, let's take these drinks. Would you like to keep any of these behind the bar for your drinking pleasure? Nah, Anna needs to drink water. Two, the other way it goes. We're going to take the Dr. Thunder and put that down on the side. We might come mm. back to that later, for all mm. we know. We're going to take uh, the Frambuesa, the mm. raspberry soda, and the sake. We'll put it elsewhere, as well as these other glasses here. Onward! So, this is a great value because Anna is cheap, but she also just wanted sherbet. And what I've discovered is the sherbet is actually pretty good no matter what kind you get. Um, I just like the reduced amount of milk in it. And it's usually pretty fruity, but you have to be in the mood for fruity. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yay, anniversary stream. Does is that, that count? Is that considered. Does that count? Is that, does it, I, I think, feel like I it counts. I, I feel like it counts. Wait, 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 That's technically a happy anniversary. Steamies. Sherbet and coconut rum. Ooh, that sounds delicious! Would you like to try that? I don't like rum, but we could try it. Well, we have a number of recipes so far that involve this. I was thinking we put it in a blender. What if you sherbet and coconut rum? Would what, you have what coconut? If? We have Malibu. Malibu like is a proper, proper thing to use for a situation I have no idea like that this. this would taste. Oh my gosh, look at it! Where's the spoon? Planned. We had here, let me see. Do you have a spoon? <laughs> I don't have a spoon. I have bar spoons. Excuse me. So I'm just supposed really to use a spoon? Let me see which ones what I had here. The first bar spoon? Ice cream. I'm not oh. about to waste it. It's over in the... Where'd it go? It's this one. How did you... I cleaned it. With what? My face. Okay. okay. And my mouth. I wish to eat this. Go for it. Okay. We've got our red, white, and blue. Let's see. This is our red, white, and blue ice cream. You'll believe it when I say it that it's red, white, and blue ice it cream. It tastes like the the pop, the red, blue, white, and blue pop. That's the uh, I don't remember what the particular name of that is. The firecracker pop. Firecracker. That's what it's called. It's like a firecracker. Like, can I have some? Mm -hmm. May I? May I please? And it's sherbet. Mm, I sherbet. specifically got sherbet because like. That says sorbet. Does it say sherbet? No, what? It does not say sorbet. Does it say sorbet? It says sorbet. What I mean, it does. Like it she does. Bet. It does say. She bet versus sherbet. Wait. Sherbet? Is it sherbet or sher. 
This may contain traces of milk, eggs, almonds, Brazil nuts, cashew, coconut, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, pecans, pine nuts, pistachios, walnuts, <laughs> peanuts, wheat, and soy. I Walmart. Read... What the? What the wait, hell? Wait, wait, I read walnuts as Walmart. Really? <laughs> wow, Walmart. It may Walmart. contain Walmart. <laughs> I love that. That's incredible. This is good. Wow. What flavor is the sherbet? Well, tastes like let's the see. firecracker. This tastes like oh, actually, cherry. I mean, does it really? Yep. Is that is that cherry? It tastes like cherry to me. Yes, can right. confirm. Yep, okay. yep, yep, yep. Okay, the let's... light one is. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, my turn. I don't know. Sugar water. <laughs> lemon. That's lemon. That was, that is not lemon, lemon. or lime. But it's citrus. Tasting the blue one. No, that's lime. Lime. Okay. That's probably lime. lime. I would go with lime. lime. And then the blue one. Which is? Oh, like no. Like a light blue raspberry? Like a light blue raspberry? I think so. As opposed to the dark blue raspberry? Well, there's like a sour blue raspberry that I'm used to. <laughs> blue raspberry. <laughs> blue raspberry. It said, oh, it, it said? <laughs> it said? <laughs> Cherry blue raspberry lime <laughs> sorbet. <laughs> We're doing great. Sherbet has no dairy? Sherbet that's has why no I dairy. like that. No, that's Wait, why. what's this one? That's great. Contains less than 1% of your daily allotment of Walmarts. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> wait, okay. <laughs> that's good. So wait, Sherbet has dairy. Sorbet does not have dairy. Oh my god, I spelled that wrong. No, I told you Sherbet. No, I wrote Shebe. Oh, that's not how you spell it? <laughs> I looked at that and I was like, oh good, now it's I know okay. how to spell okay. server. I didn't, I didn't specifically ask you to, to, uh, uh, to correct my work. Sorbet. 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 Red. Cherry. You don't have to write it. Oh my White. Lime. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And B Raz. This is good. Okay. I don't know what we do with it. Put some vodka on it and call it a cocktail? There's one way to do it, I guess. That'd be an interesting cocktail. Let's I see. mean, like, Shebert, not Sherbert, has dairy. So, a dozen. there does. That is very good to know, because Ooh. I usually get, like, Sherbert because it has reduced amounts of dairy. Because it's fruit, I guess. It's usually fruit. Sorbets I mean, are great. There's a place back home, actually, that sells the, sorb so the sorbets inside of the fruit that they've been sorbeted from. See, my favorite it's one awesome. is this, I guess they're sorbet. Lemon sorbets are great. Lemon sorbets. Because mm -hmm. they serve it yes. in the lemon, and they're yeah. pretty hefty lemons. They taste like lemon, and Indeed. they're so good, and they're like sour. So one cocktail I have mm -hmm. is quite literally, it's the red, white, and blue vodka slushy, and it is quite literally combining vodka and the, the, the ice cream together. Two scoops of Luigi real Italian ice. Luigi. You were close. That does not say Luigi. L U I G I. Luigi. Wahoo! Wait, so it's two scoops. So what counts as a scoop? Because we I don't know. It really doesn't. Things. I don't think that's a very good recipe to go on. This is literally just taking like that's like taking the bottle of Tito's and just being like okie dokie and just popping it in there, which I feel like would just be a waste of Tito's. We could definitely uh, try this now. Oh, okay. Your, wait, okay. So in a parfait glass, what's a parfait? A parfait? Oh, we don't have a glass like that. But the closest thing I you have, have is going to be tequila. Play tequila? Yeah, the tequila glasses. I was going to say we could. They're the like weird looking ones that look like bowls. We was we could use this. This is the closest thing I have to like a, an ice cream sorbet glass or something oh. glass. Why wouldn't I just use one that's more tequila? Margarita? Oh, oh yeah, we could use margarita glasses. Why not? Go grab a margarita glass. I feel like this would be nice. There we go. You need to like. What's a parfait? Thing? Nothing. What's a parfait with you? <laughs> nice, nice, Brad. Nice, awesome. Okay, you can't. What? Wipe this out. There's dust. Ew. I don't want. I literally thing. just use these. Yeah, uh, I well, think you need to clean your things. Well, you know, once in a while things happen. So That's why I need to get a glass a closet. Badge. Hmm. Nice. Red. How's the red tasting for you? I'm just loving this because I can now eat this. Dude, I have no fear of this. I'm not gonna get dairy hurt. Well, it says wheat and soy. It does not say... A oh, it may contain traces of milk and eggs. Yeah, but that's... You've been warned. It's can traces. You've also been warned about the pistachios, walnuts, and Walmarts. Good thing I do not have... It's a good allergies. thing you don't have a walnut allergy, let alone a Walmart allergy. That joke has been driven into the ground. That would be very terrifying Here's if I had a Walmart. Glass. So I think the implication here is we take scoops of this ice cream, put it into a margarita glass. Do I do the whole thing? Would you like a bigger scoop? No. Nah, you could very well use a glass. Don't let me stop you. What? Don't stop her now. She's having a good time. She is having, quite literally, 
a ball. Although not technically real. No, wait, wait, wait. So I'm supposed to just use these two and not the lime? Bring the cocktail over, Ingle, over here. You're basically making a sculpture and we can't miss this. Oh my god. We cannot miss this. This, this is, is made in the same factory as regular ice cream, so they have to put that one. That yes. actually makes sense, yes. Yes, it is yep. also in the same factory where Walmarts are made. <laughs> yes, I've pushed the joke further. You should stop. I will not apologize. Oh my god, I got a big scoop Oh my god, look at the big scoop. <laughs> look at the biggest of scoop. The biggest of scoop is... Wow. wow, that's a pretty hefty oh, scoop. Oh no, no, there. no, there's lime in it. Wait, am I supposed to have the lime in there? You want some vodka? Wait, 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 wanna put wait, some I vodka haven't gotten in there it? yet. Put some vodka in there. I must remove the Don't lime. Don't forget the alcohol. This is the alcoholic on stream only on Wednesdays. Cameron, you're... It's too sad. <laughs> ah! It's funny, I didn't... I had the cap on. Ah! Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, this I think that's insane. good enough. This is wild. All right, I don't think that's like two scoops, but I think that's good enough. <laughs> I love how chaotic this is. <laughs> like, oh my god! I so love if it. I stir it, is that how this is supposed it. to work? No, 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 I don't think you want to stir it. Why you have not? to add the vodka first. Oh, okay. How much vodka? Uh, two ounces. Two do full one. ounces do of one. vodka. Do like an ounce, please. Only like, an ounce. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like. Just eyeball it. Okay, that's good. I don't need more alcohol. Beep. That sounds terrifying. There's about an ounce of vodka in there. Okay, so we like mix this now, right? Most sorbet cocktails are sorbet and prosecco, says Rye. Oh, what's this mm, about? We got prosecco. What it's is? sparkling wine. Sparkling wine. Indeed, indeed. Oh, wait, is that the champagne? That's not champagne. It's sweeter champagne, sweeter and not champagne. from France. So wait, wait, wait. Would I like champagne? Would I like sorbetto? Try, try prosecco before we add it to the cocktail. But we already made it. Would you like to add more alcohol? to your- No wait, that one tastes like aluminum. This okie dokie, certainly, okay, this, let it be known. Brilla, Brilla, you've been absolutely fucking dissed by Anna. <laughs> Didn't that one Sorbeco taste like- is a good name for it. Heyo, got him. Well, this Nice one, Brad. This one's like a red, white, and blue vodka. Wait, how is it red, white, and blue if there is no white? They literally purposely leave it. It's like it's blue true. raspberry and cherry. This is from but it coupleinthekitchen.com. It says two scoops of blue, two scoops of cherry, and they say absolutely nothing about the They purposely the lime leave out the lime. Well, apparently that couple in the kitchen is stupid. Just saying. Stop stirring, says Rye. Anna? Why? Do you do you dare abide by Rye's command? The vodka is the white part. Oh. Uh, no, that's clear. <laughs> 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 the vodka is the white part. So how oh, do I duh. drink this? You right, you right. How is it? Is it good? Is it alcoholic? It tastes the same! Oh my god, wait, I need a piece of that. How are you supposed to eat this? Mm. So it kind of tastes like you combine lime, blue raspberry, <laughs> That's it. cherry in it. You want to add the Prosecco to it? You might change it up a little bit. You got the Prosecco on your side. Okay. Brilla, you've been dissed, but Anna's going to give you a second chance. Okay. All right, all right, we're adding it. We're adding a little bit of Prosecco, but like an ounce of Prosecco, there's not much in there. There we go, here we go, here we go. I know I'm not, Rye, I know I'm not supposed to be stirring this anymore. I'm aware. Why am I not supposed to stir it? I'm, it's just, it's a, it's a flare points. It's made only, you're making it gray. Wait. It's what, true. Shouldn't we're you? We're making it gray. No, it's purple, man. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Yep. That looks yep. gross. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't Don't it beautiful? That. Oh, I'm gonna, God. I'm gonna find a better screenshot for the cocktail vlog later. Dude, Let's that try looks horrible. It. Okay, okay. I like I'm, that. I'm gonna mix it. That's good. It tastes basically no different than before. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the audience. I'm gonna we're, we're, we're what? I'm gonna save the audience. We're, we're out of here. No, we're not looking at that anymore. How do I drink this? You can't drink this. That's the it's issue. a slushy. You're supposed to it. I guess you, you're technically eating it. Eat the cocktail. So Oh, that tastes bad now. Oh, it tastes bad now? Oh. Okay, so apparently if you scoop it, it tastes pretty good. If you That's don't... That's because I think if you scoop it, you're just getting the ice cream. We have to think about this. It's fun because depending on what side of the glass you sip from, you get a different flavor. That one had a lot of lime and cherry. <sighs> this one has blue raspberry and Prosecco. I don't understand what's going on. That one was just Prosecco and vodka. I would like to advise... Not this. <laughs> Eat the cocktail, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Pro so if I go from the that bottom... That porn. <laughs> Eat the cocktail. That's a porn? Eat the cocktail? I don't like that idea. How about eat the tailcock? Well, what's the Prosecco that I'm getting? Yeah, you probably don't like the Prosecco. 
Across. Actually, if you if you scoop towards the bottom, I think that's probably where we're gonna find all of the that's where I'm all the meaty flavors. It's very purple. This reminds me. Honestly, altogether, that's not that bad. I really like the very fruit forward sweetness and the prosecco because the prosecco to me is it's kind of See, dry. I feel like tastes like straw. I feel like it's pulling it out of the like. This is I love this ice cream. This is good. Or I love this. Sorbo art. It was your idea Sorbet. to bastardize this perfectly good product. Sorry, should I just like scoop? Here, wait, I can fix this. Put it back in. No! Oh my god, you hate me. <laughs> I do not. We're just gonna- Oh my god. Oh my god. We're just gonna make it pretty now. Ready? Look, red- So technically, if we drown out all the alcohol- Is that a it's back to, yet? It's back to normal. Is it? Mm -hmm. Do you want to bring the cocktail logo over again? I feel like we've redeemed ourselves. No, I don't think so. No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a picture of it anyway. Something's gotta go on the blog. Something's gotta go on the blog. Take a look at, take a closer that look at that. Wait, this is second. America. No, actually, that kind of looks like France. I think we should go. <laughs> it's like this is America. No, this is France. This is a battlefield. Ooh, this is wait, wait. okay. Now this you is need World to take War One and Two. Take the picture. Again. This is World War Three. This looks. Why bad. are you? No, I don't. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so bad. I'm gonna post oh, this one on topic just so that. everybody knows oh about the horror that we're experiencing right now. It is. Ooh, dude. Ooh, Pour a little dude. More fireball over vanilla oh, ice cream goodness. for an amazing experience. Where is the fireball? <laughs> it's down there. I'm afraid. This sounds like a great idea. I'm afraid. We're just putting a bunch of stuff in it. This is over vanilla ice cream. No, this is, this is close This enough. is not vanilla ice cream in the slightest. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Okay. Now I need to mix it again. This is the sickeningly part of the sickening sweet anniversary. I don't know what you're talking about. This is very entertaining. Ah! I dropped something. What is a Dr. McGillicuddy's? Dr. McGillicuddy's menthol mint liqueur. It's menthol. It's mint. It's, it's yes. Why are you mixing it? I don't know. Okay, okay. I thought I was- I, I felt sorry for it, so I was trying to put it out of its misery. Okay, okay, ready? Okay. Oh, I don't want that. This is the workshop. We like this. It kind of gives it a little bit more like- I don't even know. I like that better, though. It's like- it, there's something else there, but it's not like very identifiable. It really doesn't taste too much different at all. No, I think it just gives it a little bit more. It is actually a little more. It's it's just a different flavor. So like, there's no yeah. spiciness in there at all. There's no like even quasi like like kind of kitchen spice like savoriness mm -hmm. to it. No woodiness. And now there is just yeah. a, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit like like slapped it with driftwood. Slapped it with driftwood. With my driftwood. That's the other porn I'm producing. That's terrifying. Yeah, just a little. Why bit. would you do that porn? <laughs> words i'm it's not about the how I'm dearest going... in the driftwood it's the why and the and the how. it has like a it has an aftertaste it's not the why now. it's the how there's a little bit more of that like aftertaste that's like a little cleaner i guess this is basically just ice cream no this is we've not subtly ice cream. modified sorbet. sorbet it is still ice cream sorbet sorbets for the bets okay tuesdays are for the sorbets was this for bit, 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 so, bit, what do you what do you think of that? Would you like to use this in an additional cocktail, or would you like to move on to another ingredient? Use this. In you have the you have the power. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, we could blend it with other ingredients and make something completely different, but equally as terrifying. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I have. Let me see if I have any more cocktails with it. You could just find an ice cream cocktail, and we could try that. So, one of the ones actually that we've tried before. Way back, it was over a year ago. Oh, the melons! Was a melon look. It was, was a melon good. type of I cocktail. I remember that because I that came was back blended for together it. with vanilla ice cream. And I think you made it for yourself. What was in that? Melon Freeze, which is a which is a cocktail from my 1001 Cocktails book. Not my book. I didn't write it. I found it on the ground outside of uh, uh, the Drexel campus. Utilizes melon liqueur, Midori, lemon juice, vanilla ice cream, usually crushed ice, and then you put some green melon there. So, I don't have a green melon. So but the melon liqueur would be mol. Mo Essentially, what we're gonna do is the exact same thing. We could use the blender if we want to no, to make it more I slushy. But I think mixed up. this this uh this. This is a different story entirely. Let's try this. We're gonna grab another margarita glass 
And instead of the red, white, and blue vodka slush, we're gonna do a cocktail that's kind of called the melon freeze, but it's a modification. I'm gonna do just the lemon as best as I can. Just the lemon, as best as she can. Definitely the closest to vanilla that we can get because, as we can tell, it it's is white. white. <laughs> yep, exactly. That's obvious. I'll grab the Midori. Okay. I think that's good. So that's a, it's mostly white here. I'm just gonna blend that a little bit, just just for you, Bri, just for you. Well, at least it's not, I mean, there's not as much color as before. I feel like it's actually not as bad. Yeah, well, Midori. it's just for rye. We also need fresh lemon juice. We could add lemon juice, or we just let the lime flavor in the sorbet just kind of take I its I think toll. the lime flavor is good enough. Uh, this is about like- But what, I bought all these speed? lemons. Would you like to add a lemon? Lemon. Okay, add the lemon. I have a sliced lemon already. I'm gonna add I was using one. it for dinner earlier when we oh, made swordfish. Then, yeah, why not? It was great. I don't want that blue. Okay. There we go. It's so a now red. I need I need a measuring apparatus. We're gonna get a single ounce of the lemon juice. If you wouldn't mind handing me one of those. Thank you so much. A single ounce or about 30 milliliters of lemon juice we're adding to this. Mm -hmm. This is different than the original recipe calls for anyways. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go for it. How much are you doing? A full ounce. That might be a little hard. Well, I need to squeeze both sides of the lemon. Where's Taylor? Hello. Bucket. I missed it you completely. Missed I missed the bucket I completely. Thank you, lovely. When I'm not cleaning up after her messes, she sometimes cleans up after mine. Alright. We've got a single ounce of about 30 milliliters of lemon juice. Okay. There's a lot start. in there. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Okay. Put this over here. This looks disgusting. <laughs> Oh, well, that's because it needs more ice in it. That's usually why you would, you know, you would blend it. We could add more ice cream. We also need a single ounce of Midori. The green stuff. It's gonna make it green. I'm bringing the cocktail angle over so we can see this interesting display of... Oh! Kind of like, this is like, this is like the glaciers of Antarctica. And it is, oh my God. it is odd. It is very, very odd. This is um like someone's tooths are falling out. I mean, my teeth feel like they're falling out just looking at this. This is a lot of sugar. You get a top angle too. Mm, okay. Hello there. Midori and pineapple sorbet would be awesome. I agree with that statement. Hmm. I agree 100%. I like lemon though. Lemon. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh, sorry, that's what you did. Lemon. That's fair. Lemon. Lemon. Oh! It's good. Do you, I feel like we need more ice cream in there. Maybe. I don't know. I, I feel like. Okay, okay. I will get more ice cream. Would you like to get more ice cream? Specifically, would the you white like stuff. to stick a, a, a. No, you can't do that yet! Stick, stick the, uh, the very, very edgy, uh, oddly attractive split. <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> Nice job! Right into my nose. Anna just flicked the ice cream right onto her nose, like an absolute pro, or quite the opposite. Good job! Wow, you're mean to me. This drink needs a cherry. Then it would be a very beachy looking drink. I agree with that. I don't know. This one? This one needs a cherry. I feel like this is like... I'm gonna add a cherry to it. Just okay, to try okay. to save it from whatever we, wherever we came from and wherever we're going. It's very hard to just get the white. The lime. Mmm. I've got a cherry now. Okay, okay. Not too much force. Okay. Ah! So currently this is reminding me of the polluted waters of the Antarctic. <laughs> That's horrible. Which is why we should also put a cherry there. It's like the buoy of the Coast Guard. We should call this the Coast Guard. <laughs> the Coast Guard? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> the polluted waters of Antarctica. This looks like toxic should waste. We... This this feels very toxic waste. Somebody suggested that one earlier. I think we could use that here. You want you want a cherry? I mean, um, sure. Yeah? Yeah, one May cherry. I borrow your... May I... Okay, <laughs> okay. A, a moment. A moment, please. A moment. A moment. Just let it... It's getting there. It's getting there. Can you tilt the angle up a little bit? Just a little bit. We're getting there. There it is! Nice. Now we go for a cherry. Hello. Oh! God, it sunk to the bo- Okay, can okay. we save this? Can we save it? Can Put it on top it? of the icebreaker right there. Like, there's a, like a little I'm ice trying. Capsule. I am trying my- Oh my god. Here, wait, I got a solution. I need to take a picture of this immediately. Yep. Oh my god, that's the name of the drink. Toxic Waste, the iceberg, the drink that sank the Titanic. 
I love that. Can it's called the, the iceberg okay. in quotations. The one, you know, the one that sunk the uh, sunk the Titanic. Ah! Right, let's try this. I love it. Oh my goodness. How does it taste? Does it taste? Should it taste? I don't know. This is an ethical problem. Oh, it was cold. This breaks the Geneva Convention. It was so cold. Oh, can I try it? I didn't even get a taste. It just went whoop, cold. So are you Jack in this scenario, or are you the other one whose name escapes me? Jill? From Titanic. There was a Jack in Titanic? I've never watched Titanic. Rose. 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 Are you Jack and I'm Rose? Jack and Rose? That sounds like a bad combo. Also, I think all the alcohol's on the bottom. That is so lime forward. I know, I love it. It's very, very lime forward. Mmm. That's a good plan. This is my scuba diver. I'm going down to the bottom where the Titanic is and so slurping get, out the treasure. Let me get that, um, let me get that cherry and then you can do it. You need to garnish. Ah! You knocked your rock candy into your water. Okay, ready? Garnish. Gar and garnish? Put, put with straw. Straw needs garnish. The Go. straw needs a garnish? The straw is now the garnish. Go. Go what? Take another picture. Picture! 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 No, you need an uh, give me that. Oh my gosh. No, that's like, oh, that's gross. We don't want that. We want, we want like a nice presentation. Oh, no, we want this like maybe background. Do we do this? Get him away. Mm. This angle. Your like screeny thing is in the way. Maybe if we go lack. I'm no, sad. That looks very gross. She took my phone with me. Would you like it back? Where the hell my phone? Where the hell my phone? <laughs> right here. Where, where the hell my phone? Right How am I supposed to get home? I don't get that. <laughs> Flood some tequila rose over top of Jack Daniels and you have the Titanic wood plank. What is it? Like tequila a Tequila rose. Tequila, tequila rose. Tequila rose is a... Oh. It's that tequila cream, like strawberry liqueur. And then Jack Daniels tequila rose. I very much love this. Here, she's into it. The melon freeze, aka the iceberg. You know, the one that's so. Actually, I should write that on the board. So we had the the red, white, and blue vodka slushies. So that was technically drink number five. Yeah, I think that was R W B slush. Yes. Man, this is a lot of drinks for you. I'm going down. Here we go. I don't know how you got this today. Was what was it called? It was the Titan Titanic. No, no, no. no. It was the, the iceberg. Iceberg. And in parentheses, the one that sucks. You know, that's so the one that sank the Titanic. I don't know if they can see that anymore. You are way too low on this. Can you see? I'm that? still here, everybody. Wait, 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 I got this. I just... No, well, yeah, I guess we could technically... Hi. And then we put Hi. you... Hi. Hi. This is what I was writing. There's the one. The iceberg. You know, the one that sank the Titanic. Titanic. That's the one. I'm trying to get good angles. Can you tell that I'm wearing pants? Ayah! 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 You okay. can switch the angle now. <laughs> nice. Okay. So we essentially added vodka and Prosecco to this one. And we took this and just used the lime sorbet, and it was pretty good. It looks kind of disgusting. It tastes like lime. It looks disgusting, but it's tasty. And honestly, if it tastes good, then there's really nothing wrong with it. I would say that's probably one and a half scoops. One and a half scoops? I think so. All right. I'll take it. What do y'all think? I'll take it. Vodka, Prosecco, and Fireball. Vodka, Prosecco, and Fireball. That sounds dangerous in the best of ways. So wait, technically we modified that because we didn't just put vodka in it. We also put like the fireball. Oh, we did put a little bit of fireball we in it. We did put the fireball and the Prosecco. How about the fl the, the firecracker? Yeah, do that. Because we also- 5.5, .5, the firecracker. Yes. So technically Fire. we have made one, two, two and a half. Firecracker! Four, five. Firecracker! Six, seven. Seven and a half drinks. And counting all, uh, counting all our halves as halves. And we're not even at the two hour mark. This is like the you fastest see. one. 
It's a lot. That's what you put in the first one, the vodka prosecco and the fireball. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yes. With the ice cream, with yes. every yes. single flavor yes. of red, white, and blue. Well, possibly. well, no, I didn't put as much of the lime in it. I tried to avoid it because That's it fair. said not That's to. Fair. Heavy on the blue raspberry and the cherry. We're heavy on the red and wa- uh, blue, but not on the white. Oh, this is like checking ourselves. My drink. It is turning your drink. It's turning your water blue. Oh well, I guess it's blue now. Filling up on some water. So what are we, what are we thinking so far? Do you have a favorite drink that we've concocted this evening? There's apparently been six or more of them. Mm. Personally, I love the framing of chlorophyll and apoptosis. I think I, think I that like was great. chlorophyll, but this is my favorite. Sake place. MD, director Sake MD is my favorite so far. So let me see. Oh, you get here. No, I want. Where's a different color? I, I have a variety oh, of different. Oh, she's using the green. So Anna's favorites, uh, based off of taste. We'll taste, go with that. only tastes. We'll go on. Iceberg. Oh, she. Wow, the iceberg's great. I'll grab a different color for myself. Three. I'll be blue. I don't know. No, no. I like I sake like... MD as wait, the top. Wait, wait, wait. So I your also blue like... looks like white. So wait, wait, wait. Hey, go get new blue. <laughs> I'll get a deeper. Sorry, blue. I'm being very mean to Cameron, guys. <laughs> I'm, no, this I is just how the relationship usually is. No, maybe. Saki MD is the top. So Saki, M- then, wait, director MD or Saki MD? Because I'm counting the halves. Oh, you're gonna label every single one of these so yes. far? Yes. So right, I'm not three. doing that. I don't like. So I don't then, like rating scales. Then, then this one. That takes too much time. This one would be. I'll do a little bit of cleanup in the background. Four. Put some of these maraschino five. cherries away. And otherwise. And then. This one is six. Talk us through your process. This one is seven. Give us the why and the how. This one is eight. Okay, so number one is the iceberg because it tastes like sweet. Yes. Would you like to keep this with you? You can keep it on the side. Uh, the number two is chlorophyll. I think, honestly, I should just have them share number one. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I, I changed my rating. This one is actually number one. So I have a tie for number one right now. Yes. Wow, which ones? Chlorophyll. I spill it early. Chlorophyll. Yes. Interesting. Because I think the chlorophyll one, it was just, it was well. It was good. <gasps> it was very good. Rice says, it's been a blast. I have to head to bed. See you around. And happy anniversary. Oh, All right. <laughs> Enjoy your pottery <laughs> session. This is wonderful. I am about to stop by, right? All right. So I'm thinking. One and one for chlorophyll and iceberg because like chlorophyll had more complexity, but okay. iceberg had better sweetness. True that. So then number two, oh number three would then be director, director Saki MD because director it was Saki just MD. it was just more balanced. <laughs> then we had flaming thunder because I think it was like ba- it was like it's 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 like it's the cinnamon sugary candy thing. So I think that's good. And then. Then we have the regular sake MD because I think that was like mm, regular okay. sake MD. That was okay. We got then, we have the sl- then we have the slushy one, which is like it's fun, but I feel like it's just it's complexly weird. In the cocktail know. blog later, I will make sure to have a recollection of what your final rating was on everything. Okay. 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 So that was six. Seven is mRNA. It was way too much going on, but like it didn't disappoint me as much as apoptosis because we took a really, really good one <laughs> these are rated, and then made it horrible. These are rated actually on an yes. inverse l- a scale of how disappointed Anna was. In well, the- no, okay. So this one was this one was just too complex. There was too much going on, so I didn't enjoy it. But this one was the same too complex. However, we took a really good drink as its base and then made it bad. Whereas this one was just a bad base. <laughs> so. mRNA sucks. Get the Myrna out of here. Well, Mr. No, Nah, Mr. Mr. Nah, get him out of here. It's too much, it's too much. I'm gonna put this Prosecco away okay. too. Get this. Okay. I want this. Yes. I still have it for other coffee. There's like another two ounces or so in here. Okay. Well, the Prosecco just for women. Yes. Man, we only went through like more of the normally things that I bought. <laughs> more of the tame ingredients so yeah, far, I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess. All right. So now that we've, the three ingredients that we've covered so far are the, what is it, the old something country? 
Uh, the country club? Country, country club. The country club sodas. There was a meringue yes. flavor, which kind of tasted like orange cream soda. There was a frambuesa, a.k.a. raspberry flavor. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of tasted like raspberry, I guess. Yeah. Just kind of cotton candy -y. And then the next ingredient that we were played around with was Dr. Dr. Thunder and a Dr. Thunder reduction, which is essentially just boiling off a bunch of the water. So well, no, we only used the reduction. We didn't use the We only used the reduction. We actually used all of it, which was great. And we made two cocktails out of that. One with mm -hmm. fireball whiskey and one with yeah. sake, which is actually Well, really technically good. we made two and a half because we modified one. We have made a number of cocktails so far. They so were all we recollected eight. in the end. Every single recipe that you may or may not be curious about will all be recollected in the cocktail blog afterwards in our community Discord server. I'll type up, we'll add pictures and stuff. I'll type oh no, up a we made nine. Of them. I didn't rock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Anna will personally be writing out her ratings of every single cocktail we cover. So the six actually it's goes to be the wonderful. firecracker, and then the seven would go to the R and B, and then this one would become eight. And this one becomes R and B like 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 the regular relaxation because I feel like it wasn't Nova. it didn't really taste it was like it was just tasty because I like the ice cream not because it was good fair so so I must ask my dearest you having fun this is very entertaining which ingredient comes next oh, okay we should do one more ingredient one I more ingredient one of the tonight. weird ones one of the weird ones remember I know we have cotton candy. we have cotton candy. Aww. We could also do quick, yeah, yeah, whatever you want. I will not sway your thoughts in any All right, because, way, like, shape, or form. We have before. some weird, so I feel like the Gatorade is normal, so we won't do that. Gatorade but, is like, normal. Like these are weird, but like blue. We have another blue. This is the other. This is a different blue Gatorade than the blue Gatorade from the Chartreuse Street. That's because I drank the Chartreuse one. <laughs> it's all gone now. Okay, because like, it. so if you can't tell my thing theme, I like pink. Uh, so let's apparently. see. We have the other the other ingredients that we have. Okay. We have kiwi. Le we have strawberry lemonade. We have kiwi lemonade. We have yet another blue Gatorade. We have cotton candy. And we also have bubble gum. Or, uh, so oh, technically speaking, yeah, I forgot about the bubble gum. We also had this bubble gum vodka that we made quite a while ago, actually. This was around the bananas uh, yeah. stream. Yeah. Hmm. And this cotton candy has actually been infused in vodka already, has been sitting See, for I days. Feel now. Like, I feel like the cotton candy one would be fun. But, like, when are you going to use strawberry lemonade? Oh, and oh, oh and, and we also have the rock candy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I specifically bought that, though, so that that would be, like... Oh, there's cocktails featuring rock top? candy. What's the... Garnish. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, that's a garnish, right? Obviously, it didn't work as anyone else's garnish, though. It's funny, because we added it to definitely the first, like, four, three and a half, four cocktails or so. I added it to that. No. Sake MD. I added that after the director. Director one. Sake MD. That 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 was um what that was, was director, director Sake MD uh, accused of medical malpractice. No, wait, that's when I added it to the director Sake MD. No, that was. Uh, yeah. No, no, that was when we added the uh, the um the raspberry soda back to it. Oh, more, yeah. never mind. Okay, okay. Did Adding I the rock candy, I think, is the equivalent of medical malpractice. Okay. Bye. Um. And the response to it, I guess, would be a legal counsel. I don't know. I also have to pee. That's okay. You can take a break if you want to. Okay. Should I pick the next ingredient? Yes. I will go pee. And then I will discover what we're doing next. This show brought to you by the With an X household. <laughs> There's only one of us who chooses to spell their name with an X. It's me. Anna's name with an X would be like Xana, which is like Code Lyoko, or like Anax, which kind of sounds like Xanax. Anyways, I digress for a little bit. So the other ingredients that we have here, well, namely the ones that you see before you over here, personally, I'm really excited to see what we can do with the cotton candy vodka. Me, being the one who curated the recipes of the, this evening, know that there are some pretty interesting cocktails to be made to try to, like, exude the flavor of rock candy and to use the rock candy as a garnish or as an additional ingredient in the cocktail. The cotton candy vodka is interesting because, honestly, it's we tasted a little bit of it before, like to try to get an idea of what it tastes like, it just straight up tastes like cotton candy. The blue cotton candy and the per pink cotton candy, they don't taste any different. They just look different. I'm just very curious to see what kind of color we get out the other side with the cotton candy vodka, because like the color blue and the color purple can be found or it can be created in a variety of different ways for cocktails. And like one of them's kind of work with curacao, you mix blue and red together. One of them's with butterfly pea flower. If you steep it in gin for a while or any other spirit, it'll turn like a nice deep blue or purplish color. And then there's also this, which is basically just artificial colors with the taste of cotton candy. I 
personally want to do that one. But there's also some really, there's also like a kind of an inside joke of mixing other blue things with chartreuse. And technically speaking, the cotton candy is blue. I feel like we could also take rock candy because the rock candy is blue, blue raspberry, mix it with the chartreuse and see what happens because we have it and we can be chaotic enough to utilize that ingredient the way that we want to because it's chaotic and wonderful and we love that. So that's what I'm kind of between. Either blue, blue rock candy, either the rock candy or the cotton candy. Either way, they're both candies. I am personally erring towards the cotton candy though. So I think that's probably the one that we're going to settle upon as Anna returns from her trip. Did you decide on them? I think we're gonna do cotton candy. Okay. I'm really excited about it. I kind of figured. I really want to see what happens with the cotton candy. Okay, okay. So, the next ingredient we'll have here. Cotton candy. Cotton, cotton candy. See, I also got the cotton candy because I was like, oh, that's a garnish, and then it dissolved. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you can use it as a garnish, so we still have more cotton candy. Boop. More cotton candy. Indeed. Cotton candy, cotton candy. Cotton candy, cotton. 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 I've been caught in the candy. Oh my. Oopsies, I clicked on the wrong one. Cotton candy. <sighs> there are a number of cotton candy cocktails. I think there's a total of three of them. You can pick any one of them. What is the Rebel Juice one? Is that one? One's the That one utilizes the, uh, the ice cream. Okay, we don't need to touch it. Yeah, that one's kind of the orange cream soda and ice cream route. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the ones it was a uh, it was a I think it was a Star Wars one actually. I think I'm gonna go with that first one. The cotton candy cocktail, one of the three cotton candy cocktails that we have. This one's by Tablespoon.com, and it combines cotton candy, marshmallow vodka, and sparkling water that together. That doesn't sound very creative. Wait a second. Okie dokie, we're gonna go back. We take zoop, going well, backwards. Let's see. This other cotton candy cocktail uses vanilla flavored vodka, strawberry simple syrup, fresh lemon juice, sparkling water, a two inch sized ball of pink cotton candy, and cups of ice. So we're going to check out the last one. All right. I'm, I'm deciding All right. between right. the cotton candies here. I like that one because we can use the lemonade. We also have a cotton candy martini by the tipsy bartender. It's got vodka, raspberry vodka, and cranberry juice. And then you add cotton candy on we're top of it. We're going to go back to that, that second That option. other one? That really, really big one? Yeah, so we use what? This one's from spaceshipandlaserbeams.com. We, we use the strawberry lemonade? So this one, this is a cocktail from spaceshipsandlaserbeams.com, apparently. It's called the cotton candy cocktail, specifically trying to utilize vanilla-flavored Smirnoff vodka. But we don't need that. Instead, what it says is to call for the vanilla-flavored vodka, strawberry simple syrup, fresh lemon juice, sparkling water, this is a big one. And that's all together. It's not really, there's just a lot of ingredients there. I think a lot no, of it's No, but like there's six ounces of vodka. It's true. This is kind of a batch cocktail. It serves two, so we'll split it in half. How yeah. does it serve two? Oh, this one, yeah, two. we've got two little glasses there. Okay. It seems. And, and so, water first. yeah, absolutely. And then, so instead of using strawberry syrup, because I didn't have any strawberry syrup, I thought it would be appropriate to use, because it calls for strawberry lemon juice lemonade. and strawberry simple syrup. Just use some strawberry lemonade. Cool, we're modifying it. So we actually have two different ingredients we're gonna call for here. We got the cotton candy, and we got the strawberry lemonade. Indeed, or pink lemonade. So that's what we'll do. Do you wanna make two of them? Two different kinds? Well, we could use one where it actually just uses the cotton candy infused. What is that, vodka? Yeah, or we can actually, so like we actually also have, we have cotton candy vodka, or sorry, whipped cream vodka, which is essentially a vanilla vodka, not quite the same. So we could use this one, and then for another one, we could use the whipped cream. We could. This would be. This would be. I guess it would be a lot. So a if vodka. we divide this in half, would that work? Yeah, we can do one with our whipped cream pinnacle whipped, okay. which is that's kind of vanilla. Uh, it's whipped cream. Whipped cream tastes like vanilla, but also kind of not. Also kind of cream. Yeah. So we'll do that. Both of these get shaken and poured, so we would need to use uh, some shaker action. We have one. The other ones are below. Down to get the shaker. One of three options. Nice. We got two little shakers here. Not two little ones. We got, just got two. Ooh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Burping a little bit. Okay. So in one container, we're going to, using our base spirit, we we'll use the cotton candy vodka. And the other one, we use the pinnacle whip vodka because why not? I think they're going to be oh. two distinctly different cocktails. So I think we should do a half of this because we're making two different and we don't need two. Yeah, well, this is, two, this is for two servings. So we're going to cut so, the recipe. Yes. We'll give the recipe in terms of one cocktail at a time, but we'll make two of them. Yeah. I'll we'll put two, whoops, two little cubes in each of our big containers. Uh, okay. I think I'm just going to put three small cubes in this one over here. The uh, the plaid cobbler uh, doesn't like the big cubes very much unless we, unless we kind of crack them over. 
grab one of the big cubes. Actually, did this one freeze completely? Almost. Almost. I made some ice this morning. Woo! Indeed. Okay. Okie dokie. So, would you like to mix this together? So, how do I do this? Uh, would you like to use this guy? Sure. Okie dokie. I'll just grab him. And use that one. And do you have another one for moi? That's okay. I got it. Okay. Well, that's the, that's the, actually, is that the metric? This is the metric. Yeah. 50 mil. Yeah, it is the metric one. Grab the other one. Just a little bit. Just got some okay, so I take, I want, I guess I'll do pinnacle. This is closer. Okay. So we take three. This is the one shot. And what is this one? Um, so one side is two ounces. These are the tall sides. And the other side is one ounce. Put this right here. So people can watch me make a drink. There we go. So I'll put my icy one over here. Put this over the top. I'm going to get that undone for you. There you go. I'll take the like cotton candy vodka. Now the cotton candy vodka. Would you like to taste this before we mix with it? Yes. Like a grab a cordial glass for us, a little sippy glass. I'm trying to hopefully get a. It's a little drippy. It has. Bring the cocktail in all over. This is a very, very nice blue color. It's very nice and blue. It has a beautiful blue sheen to it. I think if I put a little Ooh. bit of. I'm trying to think of the best way to. Ooh. Nice and blue. Your blue color. Ah. Very cool. Now, what does it taste like? Shall we switch back? Thank you. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's very cotton candy and vodka. It, it reminds you that it's vodka. Oh, yeah. It really is. That was it tastes very much like the cotton candy. If you were to take concentrated cotton candy mix and put it in vodka. Oh, no. I spilled it. That's what it would taste like. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I spilled the pottery. That's why we have these mat things, which I should move this onto the mat thingy. Utilize the mat if you want to. That's what mat's there for. So this has to be three. Adding two ounces first. Okay. And then we can flip Oop. to the other side. And then I do... One or the other. Yeah, these containers don't pour very well. That's okay. It's okay. What do I do after this? So next what we're going to add is each of us are going to add, so there's an ounce called for strawberry simple so syrup half and an ounce called for lemon juice. Oh, so we so just So it's a one. full ounce of the strawberry lemonade. Okay. okay. Yeah. The ladies first. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry. You should go first then. I'm not a lady. Because I'm a lady. Do, do. That smells fun. I'm a lady in the biblical sense. I don't know what the biblical oh. sense is. How does, it, how does this taste, actually? I don't know. I kind of just bought something cheap. That's tasty. What kind of brain is that? Mi ma mi Tropical, Tropical fantasy. fantasy. That it does not fulfill my wildest fantasy. Oh fantasies. my gosh. Why is this 2.8 servings per container? 2.8? It's only 2.8? Servings per container. Only 2.8 servings per container. That doesn't make logical that's oddly, sense. That's oddly specific. That's very oddly specific. Oh, I guess it's because like they break it up by... That is interesting. They break it up by eight, eight ounce. So it's based off of eight ounces. So it's a 22.5 flow. Oh, interesting. And they're, you know, eight times 2.5 is going to be like 16 plus eight so be two fits. It's, it's a, it's, it's a number. It's high fructose corn syrup. Quick, That's basically Of it. course it's high fructose corn syrup. That's, a lot of that. That's what half of these cocktails are. It's just that sweet HFCS. Okay. Now I need a two inches size ball of pink cotton candy. Why don't I get that? Well, do you, are you adding more cotton candy on top of your cotton candy thing? Yeah, of course I would. Oh. But that doesn't go into the drink. Oh, why does it not? So, so the instructions say, in the container of a cocktail shaker, add the, the vodka, strawberry, lemon juice, oh, sparkling water, water. Oh, and ball of pink cotton candy. Nice. Oh, it does actually put it in the cocktail shaker. You're right. You're right. You got to do it. So may I have, we also need sparkling water as well. Where's that? We got a, I mean, it's not sparkling water per se. I got club soda. Oops, sorry. I'm behind you. I guess this is close enough to two inches. What do you think? This is sparkling water. Okay. It's carbonated water. Club soda. Oh, That's what I consider sparkling water to be. At least for this purpose. Ooh, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. So for mine, it's really cool to watch the cotton candy just like disappear into into the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, you know what this thing is called. You know what it's all about. The shaker? Yeah, that's a word for it. So, if I kind of 
put this over here just so we can get a very good top-down view this is inside this is the inside of the shaker we never see the inside of the shaker this is the inside of the shaker mm -hmm. we're gonna take two inches at two inches i don't really know what a two inches look like two inches is about the size of my thumb i definitely put more than two inches in. i'm gonna put my own estimation of two inches in it this is my two inches hey -o. <laughs> and i'm very proud of my two inches we pop it in there and it's just gonna kind of disappear bye bye it's gone yummy mm, that is delicious sparkling soda. soda sparkling cups yeah so one cup as i remember from earlier is eight fluid ounces yes eight fluid ounces divided by two is gonna be four fluid ounces yes. each so that's the idea so four so four ounces of our club soda or sparkling water, if you have it. Sparkling water, I guess, is technically a little more. How much of a difference? I don't really know what the difference is between like club soda and sparkling water. I think they're both carbonated. One. But one that might be like naturally carbonated versus the other. Alexa, what is the difference between club soda and sparkling water? Would you like to actually do this? Well, sparkling water is simply regular water infused with bubbles by carbon dioxide. Okay. Club soda has minerals in it along with the carbonation. Mm -hmm. Two. Thank you for the four ounces. I appreciate that. Four ounces, four like half a cup. That's gonna be like, so like two hundred. Let's see. Don't ask me. Don't Sixty. Know. Oh, it's one hundred and eighteen. Oh, one hundred eighteen milliliters. If you want a cup, it would be two hundred and forty milliliters. So if you take that, it'd be one hundred and twelve. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Slowly but surely getting better. So that's it. Yeah. And we add the ball of pink cotton candy. Shake well and pour into a highball glass. Be sure to strain out the ice. That's the idea. Okay. All right. Where's the highball glass? The highball glass is going to be the tall ones all the way on side two of the little thing over there. Not the milk glass. Oh, you put it, put it in the wrong container. Uh, it's the chill. milk glasses? What's that? The no, that's, that, that's good. Yep. The milk glasses. See, when you say side two, I'm looking at These the, are the, the highest milk. ball glasses that I have. So that's what we're going with. So how do I know this is going to be like... So essentially, so it's second. kind it's of... Not it's It's good. It's it all right. scary. It yep. It's that not. one's a little. Do you want to like switch it? No. That one's a little more. All right, going for it. Can't stop it. Ah! It leaked on me. What do I do? Pull through. Power through. I don't want it on my outfit. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna shake it ever so slightly just to build up a seal. Just to build up the seal. It's actually. Oh, it's carbonated water. Here, I got this one. Don't ruin your outfit. Try not to. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. It's good. <laughs> We're like all the way over here. It's that carbonated water in there. Ah! I usually don't shake carbonated water. Oh my gosh, it's like spilling everywhere. That's what it's said to do. Oh, shake it This is cold. I'm done. Okay, that's done. All right. Okay, okay. This is might. This might pop. Oh my god, it's popping. Oh my god. What do you do? Oh my god, it's popping. Okay. I'm just. I'm just like. Just like let it out slowly. I uh, actually I think it's okay. Yeah. okay. All right, all right. I'm gonna make sure this has a. I'm not yeah, it's like this is like this is like never sealed. That's so interesting. Let's try it. So do I just like? There we go. That's a proper seal. There we go. Whew. Wow. That was entertaining. A lot of energy. All right. Let's take the cocktail line over. We have over. to strain it. Oh. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, there'd be a little bit of ice in there. So what you'll do, actually, is for this little cobbler shaker, oh. you can take off the top of it. Yeah, but I couldn't get that. That's okay, I got you. We take this off, it'll actually help strain most of the ice cubes out. If we want to be particular, what you can do, if you really want to make sure you get them all out, get... is you can use a, a mesh strainer. Ah! Oh, bye-bye. I knocked it. I got you. We'll do this guy. We got one. Okay, I'll do mine first. One over here. Are one back here. Time? I think we should. Okay. So mine has the cotton candy vodka in it. And mine has the And it's got cream. the pinnacle whipped vodka in it. Yes. So this is gonna be pinnacle whipped. This one is going to be cotton candy. Okay. And then both will also get garnished with, I think, cotton candy cups. Garnish your cotton candy cup with a pink cotton candy ball. And fluff, fluff it up it ever so slightly. Good. All right, and pour in. Oh, mine is a pretty purple. Mine's a dark purple. Wow, that's so pretty! Oh, I love the way those look! 
I was saying while you were downstairs, there's a couple of different ways to get like the color purple and the color blue. Mm -hmm. And cotton candy is definitely another one I'm adding to my uh, list of ways to make it happen. Okay. So then we also need the tufts of, absolutely, if you can provide the tufts of cotton candy. Wait, I'm gonna see if I can get it. Oh. Doing a little cleaning of the shakers. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful! And you should get the blue. It's kind of galactic in a way. Okay. I got this, I got that this. so cool looking! There we, ooh, there we go. Wow! That's beautiful! Mm -hmm. Excellent! Oh, you got like, oh, you got cotton candy in your hands, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. Wow! That's great! I really need to get, you know what I need to get? I need to get a white bar mat. Because there's just not enough contrast for the drinks, especially for the darker yeah. ones. Yeah. That's so cool looking! That's awesome. Also, I need to like... Turn off the backlight from my little recipe thing over there. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I'm gonna get like a view of each of them from back here. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then I'll get to both of them. Like two little clouds. Two little clouds that my phone just doesn't want to properly focus on. Whoop. Can we switch back? On I'm gonna get two more of these because they're cool looking. There we go. Oh, try them. The autofocus sometimes works against me. That's cool. Wow. All right. So I try this. Yes, after big loud bangy sounds. So this is our cotton candy or cotton candy martini? No, cotton candy cocktail. Cotton candy cocktail. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, there it goes. I lost my cotton candy in it. It's so sparkly. I don't like that. I don't like the- I think it's- it's the whipped cream. It tastes like whipped cream, and I don't like whipped cream. Um, uh, I'm very particular. I love the way this tastes. Okay, let me try This that. is very tasty. It's very cotton candy. It tastes just like it. Oh, yeah. This smell- this smells like the pinnacle. That tastes like it the pinnacle. It smells very whipped. That- that pinnacle takes over everything. This tastes a lot like vodka. It does taste mm. like- it tastes like flavored vodka. This has that very much like- it kind of tastes the way like- you've probably never done a whip it. I've never done a whippet. I don't know what a whippet is. But this is what I imagine a whippet would taste like. Oh, if you've got a little bit of. You take the thing and you go like upside down. You upside down whoop. and you get the, just the nitrous. Yeah, I've never had that. I imagine if you were taking a whippet and you got a little bit of whipped cream in your mouth, this is what that would be like. Mm -hmm. Now, I need a little less. There's also like a collection of like dark sugar that's collected at the bottom of this. No. Very interesting. That's a cool color. I'm gonna try to... Well, that I think is probably just the cotton candy that wasn't mixed. Oh, that's fair. Because if possible. you look at the bottom of this one, it's got awesome. a very interesting. Ooh, never mind. It's just you my got imagination. Some? You got some? Oh, actually, that is such an interesting um, color gradient. Ooh. I'll post these ones as well. This is interesting. It's it. There's a there's a very very dark sugar yes. that is collected on the bottom of both of the glasses. Definitely from the cotton candy, but it looks kind of interesting to look at from below. Yeah, yeah. I think it's fun. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely without. So I guess, like, interestingly enough, right? I think the this... cotton candy cocktail, the way that it was intended, is weird. Yeah. It tastes really, it tastes way too much like the, I guess technically it called for vanilla. Well, it could be the whipped, but even then, if we're thinking about it, that mm -hmm. means the vanilla is going to shine through more. For sure. Which I if don't it like. was truly vanilla, and this is not vanilla. If cotton candy to me is not. Vanilla. See, to me, this tastes like the a cotton flavored candy vodka, kind of vanilla. and I don't like that. I like when something feels more combined. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, if you're a fan of alcoholic taste, this I can actually like. There is a piece of the lemonade that I can taste in there. It's like ever so slightly. I think these are lemon more like tart. traditional cocktails, so I don't like them that much. Not sickeningly sweet enough. No, it's you. not. No. I really like it. Is this, very liquor forward. This guy here is very. I love, I love the that. colors. The color was beautiful. This feels like this feels like a somebody's at a carnival and they want a carnival cocktail. This is a carnival cocktail. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And plus the whole flair of being able to take the cotton candy and drop it in on the inside, also very fun. It's a very, oh it's a very carnival cocktail I like that. Yeah. So let's see. The um, would we call this one the one that actually utilized the pinnacle? The cotton candy cocktail with some modification. That's slight modification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Whereas this one's like more for the other one, it actually uses cotton candy vodka. Yeah, so I created. think that's more of a modification. So one is just cotton candy, cotton candy cocktail. Yeah, that cotton we didn't do enough to it to make candy. it like new. It was just some substitute. We can't just steal that. That would be right. Well, I'm more than happy to steal things from spaceships and laser beams. I don't think I might steal should. that name to be honest. I love that. No more, ca no more camera. We with did X. adjust no. spaceships and laser beams. I love that. Say. Now for the other one, the one that actually uses the cotton candy cocktail, I love that. It is just so very carnival to me. Mm -hmm. It is purple, it is exciting, it is tasty, it is balanced, I love it. it. It's is not sweet, sweet enough for Anna. I think that would be a good base for something, but, but you have to good. add something different. I really like that. I think this is like this is like the splendor of what I imagine a carnival would be like, or a festival. It's festive. It's a festive kind of sweet thing. Like whatever, if there's a feeling that you get as you approach the cotton candy machine, your local ball game, or your local like field day, your uh, local park See, is having a See, the only a, a, time I've had together. cotton candy would okay. be like Disney. Disney? Or like- Where in Disney? Oh, it'd be- Let's the, pick that memory the, a little bit. It's the sweet shop. That's all the way the in the front shop. of Main Street. Would it be right to call this the sweet spot? Sure, yeah. The sweet spot? Sweet shop. Sweet, sweet shop, spot. sweet spot. I like sweet spot better. This yeah. one, the one with the cotton candy vodka, Cotton candy vodka, three ounces of cotton candy vodka, mm -hmm. one ounce of strawberry lemonade. Yes. Four ounces of club soda, which should definitely be done at the end. We don't have to put that in the shaker. Yeah, I don't I'd think, say we should just retcon that, because yeah. that was just terrifying. That was <laughs> we add a, was it a two inch tuft of yeah. cotton candy. Yeah. And then we garnish it up and on top, shake it, strain it. There we go. Yep. The sweet spot. Sweet spot. The sweet spot. This is a lot of cocktails. How many do you usually get through? I don't usually get through this many. I think it depends on the speed at which we go. Usually, I do a lot more talking. Honestly, it's surprising. I feel like we're actually more focused on the drinks being made now that you're here with me. I thought we were going to get there only a couple of. These. Well, you remember the purple stream where I literally could not focus and I was everywhere, like literally everywhere. Whereas today. I'm focused because I'm like, oh my god, this is sweet. Wait, I want to try the next sweet. We thing. made a purple I try cocktail. Sweet thing. We made a what? We every single cocktail stream we've done together, there's been a purple cocktail. Isn't that cool? That's really fun. Isn't that awesome? There is no way. No. Purple power. Purple of love rhinoceri. Right? That's the that's the thing. That's the. That's because you were too embarrassed to I say to deal with uh, us being called lovebirds. It's funny, once upon a time, you know, you call like the couples and stuff lovebirds. I was like, I don't want to be called a lovebird. Birds, birds are lame. I actually love You were birds like, now. no, we're love from rhinoceri. And I was like, what the because shit? Because obviously the plural I was like, of yeah, rhinoceri. Sure, we're that. I'm was like, I don't care. We were in high school. Fun. Like, love what do you expect? Hey, you know what? I'm cool with that. We're, uh, you know. Hilarious. There's a joke to be had about horniness with rhinoceri. That's horrible. Uh, don't it's ever say bad. it. No. There's only one horn, or maybe multiple. I don't know. There's one horn. How horny can a rhinoceros really oh, be? Wait. How many horns do they I'm have? I'm not sure. Maybe they have two. How many horns? Oh wait, they have the one here. Maybe not horny, but hornful. Uh, in any case. That's our close. cotton candy explanation. E explanation? Exploration? Exploration. Indeed. I like now, that. So let's update, let's update your ranking so far. Where did my marker go? Mm, I don't know. Did I lose it? Did a green one? Yeah. Oh, oh no! I put it down somewhere! I lost it! Did you walk away with it? I don't think so. Here's another one. Here. No! I want my green! I actually don't know where I put it. You had a green one. Okay, fine. That's very disappointing. I got the green one for you, don't worry. Very disappointing. Um, I'm not disappointed in the least bit. This is chaotically wonderful. So right now, I, I'll, I'll give like a little like narration, like ball game narration. Anna has just wiped off number eight from the list, striking out mRNA as number one, as number eight. Uh, number one is still chlorophyll, tied between yeah. chlorophyll and the iceberg, you know, the one that sank the Titanic, that disgusting thing that looks like it polluted the waters of Antarctica. Anna replaces number eight. mRNA has been ducked down a point, or perhaps up. Cotton candy cocktail, the one that we didn't really like so much, is back at number eight. mRNA knocked down to number nine. This is actually, oh, actually, let me get the cocktail logo for this one. I don't know if we can see things. Okay, happening. okay, I have it. Wait, 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 wait. So mRNA wait, 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 wait. went to number nine. There we go, there we go, there we go. 
mRNA has been docked down to number nine. It used to be well, number eight, but number eight has been replaced by the candy cocktail down here. Number ten, the sweet spot. Anna, not been a fan of that. She likes it, but not enough. So it's actually the worst one aside from no. apoptosis. Apoptosis. Apoptosis is the one that is the worst cocktail. Oh wait, Anna sorry. This should be. This should take. be eight. Just kidding. Eight. Eight. The yeah. sweet spot. A twist. I see. The because I didn't like the traditional one. one that one number eight with the sweet spot. The kind sorry, of candy cocktail that's what I meant to do. And number ten, she got them flipped around a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Because the sweet spot was the one we did. I think that would taste good if it good. had less alcohol. If it had less alcohol. She is not into the alky wacky. She likes that sweet spot, but sweeter spot. The sweeter it's spot. It's like six ounces. It's three ounces of vodka. That's a lot. Yeah. And that, that's the strongest flavor. It's true. So, like, the fact that that's the strongest flavor, I don't like that. So, I wonder if we were to add more cotton candy to it. Whether it would be better, no, but I feel like there's only a, there's a fundamental. To, you need to balance you something there. else with it. It's you like need a, like a, a different a... liquid. You need a different flavored liquid. Like adding just like the uh, I think, what is it? The, that... the the club soda. I think mm -hmm. the fact that this is plain. This it's, isn't. Super it's also strong. interesting that like despite the fact that there's four full ounces of club soda in there, they are still both very tasty, like very flavorful. Tasty. Yeah. Usually what that'll do is it'll kind of like mellow down the flavor a bit. So these are like oh, flavor. Like this packed. one is, this one's that's flavor powerful. punch that for sure. What vodka did you use for the cotton candy one? For the cotton candy one? Just regular vodka. Actually, it was the cheap stuff. So the vodka behind the scenes, for the cotton candy vodka, is this cheap bottle of vodka, 360, that I bought like a while ago. Mm -hmm. I usually use it for infusions and stuff. That might also be why, because I know that is my least favorite, like, out of all the vodkas we had, is that one. I definitely Which could have gone to the store and gotten better vodka today. But I'm just working with what we got. That one could also just be like this. That one might be the stronger one. I don't know, actually. I'm just. Well, right. let's see. Compared to what, what cock. Whoa. What vodkas do you usually like? I like the Skunk Town. She likes Skunk Town. I don't remember what the proof is on that. Tito's, for instance. Tito's is okay. 80%. The Spedka, 360 like is also 80%. Oh, wow. Svedka you like better. I like We've had Svedka in the house in a while. We can get some Svedka. I, th I liked Svedka. Yeah. Svedka, Svedka for your future chlorophyll cocktails. Or or Wait, Iceberg, you know, the one that killed the Titanic. Did we use vodka in that? The chlorophyll? I don't think we did. I don't remember. I'll have to go back to the cocktail blog for I that. I think we have to go back. Gotta go back to the, yes. gotta go back to the VOD for that one. I don't remember um, off the top of my head. Just go yeah, back. Most of these, so I haven't written down any of the recipes here. Some of them are based off of other ones, so I'll recollect them all later. That's 11. Are you going to be able to do 11? Absolutely. It'll be fun. I got, I got, I'm taking days off this week for your graduation. So. Oh my gosh. It'll be easy. It'll be easy. I'll take all of Thursday to do it. It'll be wonderful. Oh. So, now, at the two and a half hour mark, are you up for more? I think I'm tired. Right. We went through 11 drinks. What do you have? A lot of different <laughs> drinks this time around. That's a lot. The ingredients that got left behind. Bubble gum, the, the honorable mentions of the evening, bubble gum vodka. We had Oh, bubble key, gum vodka. We had kiwi, strawberry, zero sugar with vitamins and antioxidants. It's uh, ice. Water. It's ice water. It's a sparkling ice. Yeah, there is. We had Gatorade, blue flavor, frost cool, the thirst quencher, well, actually, glacier no, freeze. One, so never mind. I feel like the glacier freeze would have been oddly appropriate in the iceberg one because like glaciers and stuff. <laughs> That would have been very oh, interesting. I think those are the only three that we actually didn't use out mm -hmm. of the one, two, three. Technically, we did use the rock candy. Five, six, we did. I'm seven, really happy that we got the cotton candy. Seven. That was delicious. I think I brought. I, loved it. I brought home eight or nine things. Mm -hmm. So like we used. Everything oh, and we like, also used the red, white, and blue sorbet. Yeah, the that's, uh, the that's cherry, count. lime, and blue so raspberry two, ice cream. So two, three, four, five. Indeed. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine things. We didn't use three. There's green on that. There's been strawberries sitting back here the entire time. You just chopped the whole thing in your mouth. There is the leaves. I did not clean them. You wouldn't scoff at a man for swallowing a kiwi hole. Why not the little strawberry? She's not supposed to eat those leaves. That's right, fine. Tastes great. Oh my god. Comfortable. I'm so sorry. Did you Would you like me to spit it back up? No. <laughs> Don't do that! Oh, oh my, my gosh. goodness. Yeah. I think so, that's where we should end it. Indeed. So let's go back through a little summary of where we've been. We're trying our best to remember what the heck happened. Anna's final ranking of all the cocktails that we covered lands at number one, tying for first, chlorophyll, and the, the iceberg, iceberg, you know, the one that sank the Titanic. Yes. For, tie, uh, for number two, Anna does not have a number two on here. Oh, that's because the tie takes up for one and two. I that's understand. Why. 
Number three, we have Director Sake MD, cocktail number 4.5. Number four comes in for, it is the Flaming Thunder times three. Number five, I guess I probably should have done it the other way around. Number five, just regular Sake MD. Number six, we have the Red, White, and Blue Slush. Um, Oh, a number. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Number six, six is the firecracker. Six number is the firecracker. Is... Number seven is the red, white, and blue slush cocktail, yes. which is basically just like prosecco and vodka and stuff in it. Um, we'll go through those in a second. Eight, the sweet spot. Nine, mRNA. Mm-hmm. Ten, the cotton candy cocktail, and in dead last, eleven, apoptosis, rightfully so. Yes. All right, let's switch things back. Cool. Thank you, dear. So essentially, where have we been for cocktails this evening? We went on a little bit of a journey. The, the premise this time for our sickening sweet anniversary, Anna and I were celebrating our ninth anniversary this time. It was fun. I basically asked Anna to find a, uh, find ingredients, and with those ingredients, we would curate some cocktails and make some of our own. Oh, That's exactly Walmart. what we did. The first place that we started with was an ingredient for this country club uh, soda. The country club sodas that we have were meringue flavored, which is kind of this like orange soda. Tastes like, like I think you could replace anything with an orange based soda. Mm-hmm. So like Stewart's I know is more common. Stewart's has a very prominent so orange cream soda. Or probably even orange cream soda like ice cream and stuff. Yeah, you could probably And do we that. also used this raspberry cream. soda as well. Uh, that was I the first- I don't know a replacement for that. I would think raspberry soda feels pretty unique. Unique yeah. enough. Or like you could take like a raspberry syrup and carbonate it with they like a soda They said it was stream. like big, big red or something? The big red. Shit. The internet told me that the red one, no, 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 no. The, the meringue tasted like big red. Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah. So so we created two, co- three technically cocktails from that. We had mRNA, chlorine, and chlorophyll, and apoptosis. Technically, we were loosing, getting, loosely getting the ideas from a board game that we really like called Cytosis. Mm-hmm. It is a, a cell biology game, a resource management game where you kind of learn about cells and how they work. And their biology. Pretty good. I can't remember what the what the accommodations were. Essentially, I think what we did was we took a cocktail that was known as the Big Red Margarita. Yes. Did a bunch of substitution. Completely changed. No it. tequila and stuff. I believe that there was a little bit of there was some grenadine in there. There was some. Mm-hmm. I think did we use vodka as the base spirit? We had I we had. We did. Wait. I know we, we had use... sour apple liqueur. No, we just used a the bit. we used the orange thing and oh, the apple. Oh, we used orange liqueur. Yes, almost yes. kind of like a dryish. So we basically just made it dry. fruity. Indeed. Uh, and we had one of them, mRNA utilized the raspberry soda, chlorophyll utilized the meringue soda, the orange one, and then apoptosis was us taking a rock piece of blue raspberry and rock blue candy raspberry rock. and stirring it in on the inside, yeah. which apparently made chlorophyll taste worse and mRNA taste more or less the same. So yeah. it really didn't change it that much. Yeah. I think this one just had too much going on to begin with, so mm-hmm. why would you hear taste more? Our next ingredient of choice, of Anna's choice at least, was... Dr. Thunder! Oh, Dr. I had Thunder. ten! Dr. Thunder. It's true. Dr. Ten. Thunder is a personal favorite of ours. We like to be frugal, but we also like that wonderful combination of cherry and other stuff. I just think so it we doesn't utilize... hurt my stomach as much. Indeed. As opposed to Dr. Thunder, that is. Or Dr. Pepper, that is. Yeah. So what we did is we utilized a, a technique known as reduction, where atten- essentially we take the soda, Dr. Thunder in this case, and boil it until most of the water is gone. We reduced it by about a half. So it became a little more thick, more flavor forward, more dense syrup. We utilized that syrup with a combination of uh, fireball whiskey. In one case, to create this flaming th- thunder times three, it's equal parts fireball whiskey and this Dr. Thunder reduction. It basically Dr. Three thunder, Dr. Three. Pepper yeah. so- syrup. Two, uh, one, one to one ratio. And then you can add a little bit of, um, what was it, the cinnamon? A little cinnamon bit of cinnamon on. up on top. Yep. And uh, it just makes it more more spicy. Yeah, more, I like more it. Cinnamon I spicy. think it tastes better with the cinnamon. That's the, the Flaming Thunder times three. Yes. Yes. The other one was the was sake MD, a combination of equal parts of the Dr. Thunder reduction as well as some sake, specifically a Junmai sake. Soto was the name of the brand. I don't know, I don't know much about sake. It's a it's it's over there. It's oh, under okay, the table okay. and stuff. We left it left the building. On its own, sake MD and those equal parts taste really really good. You can enhance it just ever so slightly to by make adding, it a director. To make it a director, we've actually like promoted. You know, sake and ironically, blue. by adding by adding <laughs> a little bit of blue, blue raspberry to it, not specifically yeah. the blue raspberry though. No, what I enhanced think it, was, it the rock candy. was the raspberry soda oh, that we yes. added to it, which actually kind of dialed back the sake notes a bit more and balanced out what yeah. that Doctor Thunder was kind of like. The Doctor Thunder brings it needed some support because mm-hmm. Doctor Thunder is basically like Doctor Pepper, but a little it's bit very, watered very cherry. down. And I think the raspberry soda made it a little closer to like a kind of like more more it raspberry had, flavor. It had more of that like soda very acidic like style. Mm-hmm. I guess sake sake uh, director sake MD is looking down on us right now, being like you, you. I can't believe you because they were also accused of medical malpractice. I don't know how we got there. 
That was the. That I was just the, decided to put candy. it in. It was fine. It, it was, was fine. Candy. I think that's beautiful. It did nothing. The next ingredient that we played around with was this red, white, and blue sorbet. It is like the fryer, firecracker, like uh, the popsicle. Fryer, yes. The red part is cherry. The white part is lime. The blue part is naturally mm -hmm. blue raspberry. It's a very American thing, but also potentially French. We essentially took one recipe that called for taking that the blue. in the form of the French flag. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of red, white, and blue flags out there. You there know, is, but that's directly, if easy. it's like back to back to Not back. Not difficult that's, to that's, get yourself the, confused. The, oh my gosh. But if you take the red, white, and blue sorbet and you combine it with vodka, you have a slush. Easy. Add a little bit of um, Prosecco. Prosecco in there and, and a little bit of fireball. And you we made, made the something firecracker. that we call, uh, you know, the, the fire firecracker. I liked it. It was good. Yeah. I think the fireball actually really helped it. It enhanced it ever so slightly. I Anna think you could probably take out the Prosecco. The firecracker, with the addition of the Prosecco and the fireball, yeah. made it better than just the red, white, and blue slush. Yes. Which, I can agree with that. It was basically just like vaguely alcoholic ice cream sundae. Yeah, so it didn't really taste like much. Mm -hmm. We took more of the lime sorbet, specifically, to create mm -hmm. the iceberg by combining <laughs> the, I believe it was the lime ice cream, Midori. Yes. And was there something else in there? Definitely, I just don't remember what it is. I don't remember what else is in there. Midori, lime Midori. Juice. Oh, lemon, lemon juice. juice. Lemon, lemon juice. juice. We added some lemon juice yes. in there as well. Yes, we and we added a maraschino lemon. cherry on it. It looked yeah. disgusting. Like the like the cemetery of the folks of the set of the Titanic. Somewhere in apparently the Antarctic. We were doing a lot of like Antarctic stuff. We did do Antarctic. I don't know what the we maybe that's why the Titanic it, went down. It was just hanging up near the Antarctic in this particular maybe, canyon of the universe. Know. I don't know. Anyway, that's called the iceberg, and in parentheses, you know, the one that sunk the Titanic because yeah. It's, it's like toxic it, waste yes. up there. It looked like a mine for you. It, it was it was a very it was it a was bad a historical decision. Wreck. We'd made a decision. It began to like patina a bit as it rusted underwater, the bronzes and coppers of the Isn't, boat. I think it's still there. Maybe. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure they have the to, iceberg like, is still there on the table over there. That's... And it's all completely separated now. Actually, this is interesting. Ew. Those two those two cocktails that utilize this is kind of distressing, so trigger warning, I guess. Oh my gosh. They have oh. completely separated. This is a very, very interesting combo I here. Like that. Oh. This is there is like a bring the cocktail angle over. Oh. I have to share this. Trigger warning. This is this is not this is not good. Tilt it downwards, if you will. Tilt it down. This is what's left of the RWB slush. And this is what is left of the iceberg, you know, the one that sunk the Titanic. It's kinda one looks like absolute barf, and one looks like absolute barf on the fourth of July. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then we made it to our last two cocktails. The final in the ingredient, indeed, was the cotton candy vodka. We actually took some cotton candy and we took like half of this container of cotton candy. Where's that container? Right here. Half of this container and shoved it into about a like a four to five ounce container of vodka. It just melted. It, it just sure. melted. It just absorbed it completely, and it had the. It came out coming. It came out this really really nice purple color. It tasted like cotton candy. It tasted like cotton candy and vodka. It really, tasted like vodka, which made a lot of sense. Candy, yeah. So one of the uh, the cocktails that we came across was the cotton candy cocktail, which essentially combined, combined vanilla vodka with a couple other things, some strawberry syrup, some mm -hmm. lemon juice, uh, some sparkling water and stuff. Yeah. We actually had another ingredient over here, this strawberry lemonade, specifically Tropical Worked Fantasy, out. which we used in place of the strawberry syrup and the yep. lemonade to get something that tasted absolutely wonderful. The cotton candy cocktail, the way that we tried to do it based off of the instructions that we were provided, we don't have vanilla vodka, so we tried to use Pinnacle Whipped Vodka. That really didn't work out super duper well. It tasted kind of It weird. tasted very forward of that. Very, very whipped cream forward. It yeah. wasn't really balanced with everything else. When we use instead the cotton candy vodka, that the cotton candy that we use as a part of the cocktail itself, imbued into the vodka, it tasted a lot more balanced. It had a nice sweetness to it, a nice yeah. tartness to it. It wasn't sickeningly sweet. It though, wasn't sickeningly which sweet. Which is why Anna doesn't like it. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. If it were a lot, much, much sweeter, probably less on the vodka. Yeah, like less on the like, vodka, probably more on like, if there, if maybe a like if we, if we cut it down with more water, like if we cut the vodka down with water, it probably would have been more probably, palatable. Yeah, that, that would too. And the probably not as sickeningly sweet either. Just kind of. It probably just would have been duller. And yeah. when it comes down to it, I don't like alcoholic taste overall mm -hmm. like i think it has a role if it's lower but if you over like i don't like having a lot of if it's it, going to so be the star of the show you're not really into it if it's going no. to function as a as a it's kind supporting of supporting cast indeed yeah i could be a little bit better. as long as it's supporting cast i'm good indeed yeah and so Sometimes. that was every single cocktail that we covered and anna apparently rates the top ones as being chlorophyll 
And the iceberg. iceberg. You know the one that sank the Titanic. Yeah. All in all. Anyway, they so win! Like, Yay! Indeed. I think my favorite was still I liked Sake MD. I like I like that combination of Sake and um I like Doctor the Doctor. That was very the nice. Doctor was better. I also think I really like the sweet spot. Yeah. Those were that was also very tasty to me. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are a lot less sugar forward, I guess is the best way to put it. Indeed. But well, that hits both of our tastes. Indeed. And that's pretty much it. That's all we've got this for this evening. It was absolutely yeah. wonderful. We'll Thank put ourselves back on. Us, Indeed. You know? Back in our little end scene over here. Let me, Ooh, let me zoom out. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now we're both here in the picture. So this was Anna and I celebrating our nine year anniversary by doing a little cocktail stream together. Good night. Good night. Now go. I'm not going to bed yet. I got to clean up after this stuff naturally. This Ugh. is kind of what we do. Now you have to experience it with me. The beautiful Tuesday that we are here now. In any case, this was an absolutely wonderful time, and I'm very happy that you were able to join me for this. This yeah. is very fun. It's I kind of like a little chaos every once in a while. Well, I think we've streamed this one, and then last year I think we streamed at some point. We streamed last year. We've been streaming on our anniversary for three years. Three years, yeah. Because we did it for our seventh one too. We played, yeah, it we takes played. Two. It takes two. What did we do? I don't know. I don't know what we did last year. year. I think we played Soul Worker. Oh no! Maybe? I was sitting next to you, and then I think we were trying to Mario play. Party? It takes is it Mario Party. Maybe. 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 Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. In any know. case, you guys to everybody out. out there, thank you from the bottom of both of our hearts for joining us and sharing in the anniversary fun with the both of us. This is very fun. And if you like sweet cocktails, nice. you know, just rewind the video. Yeah, if you, like, <laughs> if you like sweet cocktails, there's a cocktail blog. I'll put up photos and stuff, even, oh, some, of the yeah. even some of the weird looking ones. It'll be, yes. um, it'll be in for a time. It'll be strange. In any case. But it's fun. Indeed. For everybody else out there, you can find us back here usually on Wednesday nights. Tuesday, we, this is just an exception for the beauty of love, that is. Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we just do themed cocktails every Wednesday or so. Mm -hmm. There's more There's more stuff that's in the mix. Uh, I'm also not just a streamer. I'm just a regular content creator, just like many of the other schmucks out there. So if you check out this stuff, all the socials over there, you'll find us more stuff. That's just Cameron. Yeah, that's just me. If you want more of Anna's Connect. stuff, there is an Instagram account, Calrosi underscore cosplay, which is set linked somewhere on the Twitch channel and in the description as well. That so is where we costuming. do our cosplay stuff. Yeah. Anna's whole shtick is costume cosplay. I just like, I mean, I have a dance degree, so it's fun. Mm -hmm. So dressing up, acting, you know, that that's kind of my stick. So if you want to support my lovely, who I've been supporting financially on my own for the past two years or so, <laughs> um, you can go bad. find that stuff and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. Thank you very much. Bye-bye! To everyone, no matter what time of day it is, just have a good one. Cheers Yay. to all of you. Until next time, y'all. Bye!